Speed limits in the United States vary depending on jurisdiction, with 75 to 80 miles per hour (120 to 130 kilometers per hour) common in the western United States and 65 to 75 miles per hour (100 to 120 kilometers per hour) common in the eastern United States. States may also set special speed limits for trucks and night travel along with minimum speed limits. The highest speed limit in the country is 85 miles per hour, 140 kilometers per hour, which is posted on a single stretch of tollway in rural Texas. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Alabama. In Alabama, it is illegal to drive at a speed that is not reasonable and prudent for the current conditions and hazards. Drivers must also not drive so slowly that they impede the flow of traffic. If the speed limit is not otherwise posted, it is 30 miles per hour, 48 kilometers per hour in urban areas. 35 miles per hour, 56 kilometers per hour on unpaved roads. 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour on rural paved county roads. 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour on other two-lane roads. 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour on four-lane roads. 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour on interstate highways. Trucks carrying hazardous materials are not to exceed 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour. Topic: Alaska. In Alaska, many of the major highways carry a 65 mile per hour (105 kilometers per hour) speed limit, including a majority of the park's highway between Fairbanks and Willow, excepting slower zones through Nenana, Denali Park, Cantwell, and Healy. Most of the Richardson Highway between Valdez and North Pole. On the Glen Highway, the 35-mile freeway between Wasilla and Anchorage, and most of the 100 miles west of Glen Allen. The Seward Highway freeway in Anchorage between 36th Avenue and Rabbit Creek Road, and other non-freeway parts of the Seward Highway south of Bird Point. Most of the Alaska Highway between the Canadian border and Delta Junction the Minnesota Drive Expressway features a 60 mile per hour 97 kilometers per hour speed limit as does the Richardson Highway between Fairbanks and North Pole Since the mid 1990s Alaska's major highways have gradually been upgraded from 55 miles per hour to 60 or 65 miles per hour However, several continue to carry the default 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour speed limit, including the Sterling Highway, the Tok Cutoff, the Haines Highway, portions of the Parks Highway and Seward Highway designated safety zones. Portions of the Elliott Highway and Steese Highway close to Fairbanks engineering studies are needed to define which road segments to post a speed limit higher than 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour. The Dalton Highway and parts of the Elliott Highway are 50 miles per hour. Default speed limits in Alaska are 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers per hour in alleys. 20 miles per hour 32 kilometers per hour in a business district 25 miles per hour 40 kilometers per hour in a residential district 55 miles per hour 89 kilometers per hour on other roads the speed limit when towing a mobile home is 45 miles per hour 72 kilometers per hour topic American Samoa The speed limit in American Samoa is 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour, with 25 to 45 miles per hour, 40 to 72 kilometers per hour in undivided rural areas and 20 to 25 miles per hour, 32 to 40 kilometers per hour in residential areas.
Topic: Arizona. The default speed limit outside of business or residential Districts in Arizona is 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour. Within those districts, the default speed limit is 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour. The school zone speed limit is 15 miles per hour, 24 kilometers per hour, while some may be 25 to 35 miles per hour, 40 to 56 kilometers per hour. Exceeding these limits only in the best of driving conditions is considered prima facie evidence of speeding. Altered speed limits are not prima facie. The maximum speed limit on interstate highways is 75 miles per hour, 121 kilometers per hour. This limit may be applied outside of urbanized areas. Where speeds of over 85 miles per hour, 137 kilometers per hour on any highway, regardless of the posted speed limit, is considered a criminal rather than civil offense. However, Interstate 10 near the California border is reduced to 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour. Some portions of Interstate 15 have the same regulations due to sharp curves. There is an exception of urban highway in Casa Grande with a speed limit of 75 miles per hour, 121 kilometers per hour, while other urban highways are capped at 55 or 65 miles per hour, 89 or 105 kilometers per hour. Within business or residential Districts exceeding the speed limit by more than 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers per hour is considered criminal. Within urbanized areas, 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour, speed limit citations are given for waste of a finite resource. This exception only applies within a 10 mile per hour, 16 kilometers per hour threshold. As long as the speed does not exceed 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour, the infraction is not recorded as a traffic violation for the purposes of a point system. Non-passenger vehicles in excess of 13 short tons, 12t, or vehicles drawing a pole trailer weighing more than 3 short tons 2.7t may not exceed 65 miles per hour 105 kilometers per hour unless signs are posted that allow such a speed yet this does not differ from the default speed limit and has the practical effect of requiring extra consideration for posting a standard speed limit sign in excess of 65 miles per hour 105 kilometers per hour a non-numeric minimum speed limit is incorporated with the basic speed rule in Arizona, which also prohibits speeds higher than would be reasonable and prudent. Night speed limit signs are posted on some roads within Tucson city limits that do not have street lights. Examples, Fort Lowell Road from Oracle Road to Country Club Road, 22nd Street from Interstate 10 to Cherry Avenue. Topic. Arkansas Urban districts by default are posted at 30 miles per hour, 48 kilometers per hour. Outside of the municipal limits, two lane state and federal highways have a speed limit of 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour unless otherwise posted, and two lane county roads have a speed limit of 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour unless otherwise posted. In June 2015, the Arkansas Highway Commission authorized the Arkansas Highway and Transportation Department AHTD to raise the speed limit on undivided four- and five-lane roads from 55 to 60 miles per hour 89 to 97 kilometers per hour while divided four-lane roads are set to go from 55 to 65 miles per hour 89 to 105 kilometers per hour. These changes affect 285 miles. 459 kilometers of Arkansas highways. Furthermore, AHTD has established freeway default speed limits. 
Along rural freeways the limit is 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour, while suburban freeways are posted at 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour. School zone speed limits apply only when children are present, or when a lighted beacon is on if one is provided and such speed limits are set at 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour, unless otherwise posted. It is fairly common however that schools serving only higher grade levels will not have a school speed limit in rural areas or where such school sits more than 500 feet 150 meters off of the highway or street. On March 16, 2017, the Arkansas House introduced a bill that would allow the State Highway Commission to increase speed limits up to 75 miles per hour in rural interstate freeways and sets rural non-divided highway speed limits to 65 miles per hour. This bill became law on April 7, 2017. The new 75 miles per hour, 121 kilometers per hour speed limit doesn't apply to trucks. Trucks will still be limited to 70 miles per hour. Fact check. This provision was removed from Act 1097. As of October 31, 2017, the speed limit law is being broken into four categories: rural interstates, urban interstates, rural divided unlimited access highways, and two-lane highways. There are studies being made to increase rural interstate speed limits to 75 miles per hour, 121 kilometers per hour, urban interstate speed limits to a uniform 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour speed limit, rural divided unlimited access highways to 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour unless the dot warrants a lower speed and maintaining a 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour speed limit with the option of increasing the limit to 60 miles per hour 97 kilometers per hour where higher speed limits can be warranted on two lane highways as of July 1 2018 no freeways in Arkansas have been increased to 75 miles per hour as of July 16 2018 RDOT was still considering speed limit changes a spokesman from the department was quoted as saying, Everybody wants it, but when you're driving that much faster it's more challenging to negotiate curves in the rural highways. <laughs> <laughs> California <laughs> Basic speed law California's basic speed law, part of the California Vehicle Code, defines the maximum speed at which a car may travel as a reasonable and prudent speed, given road conditions. The reasonable speed may be lower than the posted speed limit in conditions such as fog, heavy rain, ice, snow, gravel, sharp corners, blinding glare, darkness, crossing traffic, or when there is an obstructed view of orthogonal traffic such as by road curvature, parked cars, vegetation, or snow banks, thus limiting the assured clear distance ahead ACDA. Basic speed laws are statutized reinforcements of the centuries-old common law negligence doctrine as specifically applied to vehicular speed. California Vehicle Code Section 22350 is typical, it states that no person shall drive a vehicle upon a highway at a speed greater than is reasonable and in no event at a speed which endangers the safety of persons or property." Speed limits in California are mandated by statute to be set, 1, at or below the 85th percentile operating speed. As determined by a traffic and engineering survey, this is the speed that no more than 15% of traffic exceeds, or two, the prima facie limits mandated when certain criteria are met as described in the vehicle code. These criteria include school zone, alleyway, and residential area. If the 85th percentile operating speed as measured by a traffic and engineering survey exceeds the design speed, compulsory legal protection is given to that speed even if it is unsafe with regard to certain technical aspects such as sight distance. 
This speed creep may continue until the 85th percentile operating speed is comparable to speed psychologically perceived as uncomfortably hazardous. The theory behind California's 85th percentile statute is that, as a policy, most of the electorate should be seen as lawful, and limits must be practical to enforce. However, there are some circumstances where motorists do not tend to process all the risks involved, and as a mass choose a poor 85th percentile speed. This rule in substance is a process for voting the speed limit by driving, and in contrast to delegating the speed limit to an engineering expert, the numerical limit set by Caltrans engineers for speed limit signs, generally found on all non-controlled access routes, is considered a presumptive maximum reasonable and prudent speed. Many speed limit signs are identified as maximum speed. Usually when the limit is 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour or more. When the national maximum speed law was enacted, California was forced to create a new legal signage category, maximum speed, to indicate to drivers that the basic speed law did not apply for speeds over the federally mandated speed cap. Rather, it would be a violation to exceed the fixed maximum speed indicated on the sign, regardless of whether the driver's speed could be considered reasonable and prudent. A driver can receive a traffic citation for violating the basic speed law even if their speed is below the maximum speed limit. If road, weather, or traffic conditions make that speed unsafe. However, because the basic speed law establishes prima facie limits, not absolute ones, they can also defend against a citation for speeding by competent evidence that the speed in excess of said limits did not constitute a violation of the basic speed law at the time, place, and under the conditions then existing. Per Section 22351B of the California Vehicle Code. As attorney David W. Brown says in his book Fight Your Ticket and Win in California, a person traveling over the speed limit but less than the usual 65 miles per hour maximum speed, 55 miles per hour for two lane undivided highways, isn't necessarily violating the law, and that you can defend against a charge of violating the basic speed law not only by showing you weren't exceeding the speed limit, but also by establishing that even if you were over the limit, your speed was nevertheless safe under the circumstances. Topic. Speed limits Rural freeways, such as parts of I-5, I-8, I-10, I-15, I-40, I-215, I-505, I-580 between I-205 and I-5, US-101 between San Miguel and King City, and CA-99 south of Madera and Fresno, have 70 miles per hour 110 kilometers per hour speed limits. The highest speed limit on I-80 is 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour, because it passes exclusively through urban and mountainous areas. However, the speed limit on the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge and in San Francisco is only 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour. In downtown Los Angeles, the maximum speed limit is 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour. This includes the entire length of the Pasadena Freeway between Pasadena and downtown Los Angeles, and portions of the Hollywood, Santa Ana, Santa Monica, and Harbor Freeways. The default limit on two-lane roads is 55 miles per hour 89 kilometers per hour. However, Caltrans or a local agency can post a speed of up to 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour. After an engineering study, there is a 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour speed limit for trucks with three or more axles and all vehicles while towing. In California, the maximum speed in school zones is 15 or 25 miles per hour, 24 or 40 kilometers per hour, but may only be in effect when children are present within that school zone. Topic: Colorado. 
The maximum speed limit in Colorado is 75 miles per hour, 121 kilometers per hour on rural interstate highways and the toll road portion of Shish 470, E 470, even though Interstate 70 in the Rocky Mountains has a 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour limit because of steep grades and curves and a 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour limit at the east and west ends of the Eisenhower Tunnel. The maximum speed limit on other rural highways is 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour. There are also basic prima facie speed limits in Colorado. 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers per hour on narrow, winding mountain roads. 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour in any business district. 30 miles per hour, 48 kilometers per hour in any residential district. 40 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour on open mountain highways. Topic: Night speed limits. On certain stretches of rural highways, notably US 160 between Durango and Pagosa Springs and US 550 between Durango and Silverton, nighttime speed limits are in effect during peak migratory periods for area wildlife. Speeding fines are doubled when nighttime speed limits are in effect. Topic: Connecticut Speed limits in Connecticut are normally 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour on rural freeways, up to 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour on rural divided and up to 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour on rural undivided highways. In urban areas, speed limits vary from 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour on residential streets and central business districts, 30 to 40 miles per hour, 48 to 64 kilometers per hour on arterial roadways, and from 45 to 55 miles per hour, 72 to 89 kilometers per hour on urban freeways. Limited access divided highways have a minimum speed of 40 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour, but this is not always posted and rarely enforced. Connecticut was among the last states to raise its maximum speed limit from 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour, originally established by the National Maximum Speed Law in 1974. The statewide maximum speed limit was increased from 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour to 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour on October 1, 1998, making Connecticut the last state in the continental United States to raise its speed limit above 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour. Speed limits for all roads within Connecticut, including local streets, are established by the State Traffic Commission, an agency composed of members of the Department of Motor Vehicles CTDMV, the Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection DESPP, and the Department of Transportation CONNDOT. The State Traffic Commission typically sets speed limits following engineering studies performed by CONNDOT. Data used in setting speed limits includes traffic volume versus roadway capacity, design speed, road geometry, the spacing of intersections and or interchanges, the number of driveways and curb cuts, and accident rates. Municipalities are normally required to seek approval from the State Traffic Commission for changes to the posted speed limits on locally owned streets after appropriate engineering studies are performed. Speeding fines are doubled in school zones when children are present, and construction areas when workers are present. Prior to enactment of the National Speed Limit Law in 1974, Connecticut permitted a maximum speed limit of 60 miles per hour (97 kilometers per hour) on rural freeways. On March 26, 2018, contractors started installing new speed limit signs on I-84 between the Waterbury Cheshire line and the interchange with CT Route 9, increasing the speed limit to 65 miles per hour. 
This action follows a DOT study showing the 85th percentile speed of free-flowing traffic on this segment averaged 77 miles per hour. Topic: <laughs> Delaware In Delaware, three roads carry a 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour speed limit. Interstate 495, the toll road portion of Delaware Route 1 and the freeway portion of Route 1 up to exit 160, US 40, and Interstate 95 from the Maryland line to the southern junction with I-495. The remainder of Interstate 95 between the southern junction with I-495 and the Pennsylvania line and the freeway portion of Delaware Route 141 are 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour, while I-295 is 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour. Prior to the national maximum speed law that went into effect nationwide, I-95 used to have a 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour speed limit except around Wilmington. In May 2015, the state of Delaware increased the speed limit on Interstate 95 from 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour to 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour between the Maryland state line and the I-495 interchange. In January 2017, the speed limit on Delaware Route 1 between Trap Shooters Road and the Punch and Run Connector in Dover was increased from 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour to 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour, while the speed limit on the Punch and Run Connector was increased from 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour to 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour. All rural two-lane state-owned roads have 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour speed limits, while all urban speed limits, regardless of location, are held at 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour for two-lane roads and up to 35 miles per hour, 56 kilometers per hour for four-lane roads. Four-lane highways such as US 13, US 113, portions of US 40 near Bear and Glasgow, and the at-grade portions of De One Air normally 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour. School zones have 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers per hour speed limits. Interstate 495, which forms a bypass around Wilmington, features variable speed limit signs for environmental purposes. These signs typically display a 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour speed limit, but this limit changes to 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour on days when air quality is a concern. The limit is also lowered during construction, weather conditions, and when accidents occur. All neighborhoods and subdivisions in Delaware have a maximum speed limit of 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour, as set by state law. Frequent advertising campaigns on in-state radio stations remind residents of this as of January 2013. Topic. Florida Florida has a maximum speed limit of 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour, found on freeways, including rural interstate highways, some urban freeways including I-4 in Lakeland, I-75 in Tampa and Miami, where I-75 ends, I-95 near Daytona Beach and from Military Trail to Florida State Route 706 in Palm Beach County. Portions of the Orlando area toll roads such as State Route 417 and State Route 429, Florida's Turnpike through Port St. Lucie and Orlando, I-10 close to Tallahassee, and most other rural limited access toll roads such as the Suncoast Parkway and the Beachline Expressway and rural portions of Florida's Turnpike. 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour is typical on rural four-lane highways such as US 19 north of St. Petersburg among other US highways as well as most other urban freeways and tollways. 
Rural two-lane roads typically have a speed limit of 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour, the default limit for such roads. Although FDOT is permitted to post 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour on appropriately suited highways. This is typically done on very rural state roads such as SR 471 and US highways such as US 98 along most of the state's panhandle. Florida typically does not post night speed limits, but there are a few exceptions. For the most part, these nighttime reduced speeds are located in wildlife preserves for such endangered species as the Florida panther and the key deer. Most of the Tamiami Trail through the Big Cypress National Preserve has a 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour night speed limit. On some stretches of road where the speed limit is reduced at night, the daytime speed limit sign is non-reflective, such that at night, only the night limit is visible. Florida's minimum speed limit on interstate highways is 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour in 70 miles per hour zones. In 55 miles per hour and 65 miles per hour urban interstate zones, the minimum is 40 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour. At one time, these minimum speeds required signage, but these limits have since been codified in state law. Signs indicating these minimum speeds still exist, but now simply serve as a reminder. Urban freeways with speed limits of 50 miles per hour typically do not have minimum speed limits, such as on I-375 in St. Petersburg. Additionally, the new Gandhi Freeway in St. Petersburg has a speed limit as low as 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour. Florida also does not impose lower truck speed limits. As such, all traffic is permitted to travel at the same speed. School zones in Florida usually have 10 to 20 miles per hour, 16 to 32 kilometers per hour limits. Most have flashing yellow lights activated during the times they are in effect as well as accompanying signs that post the times these reduced speed limits are effective. All are strictly enforced and carry an increased penalty for violations. Topic Georgia Rural Interstate Highways are posted at 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour. Until 2014, sections of interstates passing through a municipality or metropolitan area with a population over 50,000 were capped at 55 to 65 miles per hour, 89 to 105 kilometers per hour. However, a new law has permitted urban interstates to now be posted as high as 70 miles per hour, and some have already reflected this change, such as I-95 through Brunswick, I-85 in Gwinnett County, and I-75 in Macon, Valdosta, and Tifton. Most urban interstates, however, still remain at or below 65 miles per hour. I-285 in the Atlanta area was recently increased from 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour to 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour with variable speed limits on the north portion. I-95 and I-16 through suburban Savannah the 65 miles per hour limit on I-95 is only for a 1.5 mile section in the vicinity of the I-16 interchange, I-16 from the interchange with I-75 in central Macon eastbound past exit 2 is at 65 miles per hour, and I-185 in Columbus remain at 65 miles per hour, while the downtown connector and portions of I-20 in Atlanta are posted as low as 50 miles per hour 80 kilometers per hour most non-interstate freeways such as state route 400 and the athens perimeter highway are posted at 55 to 65 miles per hour four lane arterials and expressways can be posted as high as 65 miles per hour 105 kilometers per hour However, Dillon's rule enables counties outside municipalities to keep four-lane grip corridors at 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour. However, in recent years, US 1 between Augusta and Wrens raised the speed limit to 65 miles per hour. 
Other rural four-lane highways with a 65 miles per hour include portions of US 441 near Irwinton, US 25 between Augusta and Statesboro, State Route 88 between Sandersville and Wrens, State Route 16 between Griffin and I-75, much of US 341 between Brunswick and I-75, and much of US 82 in South Georgia. Two-lane state roads by default are posted at 55 miles per hour, 80 km per hour. County-maintained roads will rarely have speed limits above 50 miles per hour, 80 km per hour in Middle and South Georgia, 45 miles per hour, 72 km per hour in North Georgia. Both in the Atlanta area, Ronald Reagan Parkway is posted at 50 miles per hour, 80 km per hour as a county-maintained freeway and Sugarloaf Parkway is posted at 55 miles per hour, 89 km per hour along its new eastern freeway portion. Inside the municipality, speed limits are generally posted at 35 miles per hour, 56 km per hour, while it is 25 to 30 miles per hour, 40 to 48 km per hour. In the downtown area, all roadways maintained by GDOT that are subject to speed limit reductions are given advanced notice with signage that says, Reduced speed ahead. Furthermore, GDOT has a policy of doing 5 to 10 miles per hour, 8.0 to 16.1 kilometers per hour increments, but never higher than 10 miles per hour. Georgia is one of few states with anti speed trap laws passed in the late 1990s. Speed violations less than 15 miles per hour, 24 kilometers per hour over the speed limit will have no points assessed. Fines are not assessed for motorists going less than 10 miles per hour, 16 kilometers per hour over the speed limit. In 2009, Georgia introduced the Super Speeder Law, which adds an additional speeding fine of $200 for motorists convicted of traveling 75 miles per hour, 121 kilometers per hour or more on a two-lane or undivided road and 85 miles per hour, 137 kilometers per hour or more on a divided highway. Topic Guam The speed limit in Guam is 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour, with 35 to 45 miles per hour, 56 to 72 kilometers per hour in undivided rural areas and 35 miles per hour, 56 kilometers per hour in rural areas. Topic Hawaii Hawaii was the last state to raise its maximum speed limit after the national maximum speed law was repealed in 1995, and still has the lowest maximum speed limit of any state. In 2002, following public outcry after a controversial experiment with speed enforcement using traffic enforcement cameras, the State Department of Transportation raised the speed limit to 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour, on Interstate H1 between Kapolei and Waipahu, and Interstate H3 between the Tetsuo Hirano tunnels and the junction with H1. All other freeways, including Interstate H2, have a maximum speed limit of 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour, with the limit dropping to 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour in central Honolulu. Other highways generally have speed limits of 55 miles per hour and in many cases much less. On July 6, 2016, Governor David Ige has signed a bill to allow the speed limit on Saddle Road to increase from 55 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour. The limit was increased to 60 miles per hour the week of February 5, 2017. Hawaii has a minimum speed along much of Interstate H1 of only 10 miles per hour, 16 kilometers per hour, below the speed limit. The minimum speed is usually 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour, when the speed limit is 55, and 40 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour, when the speed limit is 50. Topic: Idaho. 
The speed limit on a freeway in Idaho is generally 80 miles per hour, 130 kilometers per hour in rural areas and 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour in urban areas. Trucks are limited to 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour. Generally, both single and multi-lane rural roads have 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour limits. Roads with traffic lights are posted at 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour or below. The school zone speed limit in Idaho is 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers per hour. Idaho Senator Bart Davis brought SB 1284A to the House of Representatives for discussion in early 2014. The bill passed the Senate on February 25 and was signed into law by Governor Butch Otter on March 18, 2014, which was set to raise the speed limit on rural interstates to 80 miles per hour, 130 kilometers per hour, on July 1, 2014, the same date Wyoming raised its speed limit. Days before the law was to go into effect, however, it was put on hold in order to allow a more thorough review of the effects of a raised speed limit. A vote on July 14, 2014 approved the 80 mph increase on limited sections of interstates in the southern portions of Idaho. Studies will begin for other areas later of that summer. The bill also would raise truck and two-lane highway speed limits to 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour. As of July 24, 2014, the new 80 miles per hour signs are up on rural Idaho interstates. On March 22, 2017, the speed limit on a four-lane divided stretch of US 20 between Idaho Falls and Ashton was raised from 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour, to 70 miles per hour. Topic: Illinois Interstate highways in Illinois are usually posted with both minimum and maximum speed limits, except in some urban areas, particularly Chicago. The standard speed limit is 70 miles per hour for rural freeways, a 45 miles per hour minimum speed limit, 65 miles per hour for other four-lane divided highways, and 55 miles per hour for all other highways. Urban freeway, interstate speed limits can range from as low as 45 miles per hour in downtown Chicago, where all the major interstates merge, to as high as 65 miles per hour in the outer portions of the Chicago Metro and East St. Louis Metro areas, and in some smaller cities. Some interstates in small cities, e.g., I-55, 74 through Bloomington Normal, I-39, 90 through the Rockford area, I-57 through Champaign-Urbana do not have reduced speed limits, and a stretch of I-355 between I-55 and I-80 in the southwest suburbs of Chicago is signed at 70 miles per hour. Most freeways and interstates in Cook, DuPage, and Lake Counties, and some interstates and freeways in Will County maintain a 55 to 60 miles per hour speed limit. Due to the high population density, the only freeways in Cook County that exceed a speed limit of 60 miles per hour are I-57 at the southern edge of the county, part of I-80 between Central Avenue and Harlem Avenue, and the southern segment of I-355, which passes through Cook County briefly before crossing into Will County to both the north and south. As of January 2010, a reduced speed limit posted in a construction zone must be obeyed 24 hours a day, regardless of whether workers are present. On February 10, 2017, a bill was introduced to raise the speed limit on select rural interstate freeways and highways to 75 miles per hour. The bill also contains a provision to increase maximum speed limits to 60 miles per hour for all rural highways, roads, and streets that do not have four or more lanes of traffic. This bill and one filed in 2018 died in the legislature. 
As of March 27, 2018, the speed limit on I-90 from Randall Road in Elgin to Mount Prospect Road in Des Plaines has been increased to 70 miles per hour, and from Mount Prospect Road to the beginning of the Kennedy Expressway, it has been increased to 60 miles per hour. I-290 is posted at 60 miles per hour for a few miles near Schaumburg, from IL-72 down to shortly before the I-355 exit. Topic: Indiana. In Indiana, speed limits on interstate highways are usually 70 miles per hour (113 kilometers per hour) for cars and 65 miles per hour (105 kilometers per hour) for trucks with a gross vehicular weight (GVW) of 26,000 pounds (12,000 kilograms) or greater. In urban areas, it is generally 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour, except stretches of Interstate 70 in Indianapolis where it is 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour. In suburban areas, it is 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour for cars and 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour for trucks. Most non-interstate highways are 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour, but some rural four-lane divided highways are set at 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour. These limits often decrease to 30 to 50 miles per hour, 48 to 80 kilometers per hour, approaching urban areas, and within cities a speed limit of 20 to 30 miles per hour, 32 to 48 kilometers per hour, is not uncommon, though larger arterial roads within cities may reach as high as 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour. On February 6, 2012 the Indiana Toll Road was raised from the Illinois state line to mile marker 20 to 70 miles per hour 113 kilometers per hour after a major highway reconstruction project. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Iowa In Iowa, the majority of highways have a 55 miles per hour, 90 kilometers per hour speed limit. Rural interstate highways carry a 70 miles per hour, 115 kilometers per hour limit and a 40 miles per hour, 65 kilometers per hour minimum. Urban interstate limits generally range from 55 to 65 miles per hour, 90 to 105 kilometers per hour, but may be lower in areas. The Interstate 74 bridge from Bettendorf to Moline, Illinois, for instance, has a 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour limit because the bridge is narrow and has no shoulders. Four-lane roads may have a 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour limit. If the road is built to freeway standards, such as US 20 between I-35 and Dubuque, it may have a minimum speed limit, but otherwise four-lane roads carry no minimum limit so slow-moving farm vehicles may use the roadway. On February 21, 2017, a bill was introduced to raise speed limits from 70 miles per hour to 75 miles per hour on interstate freeways, but it was not enacted. Topic. Kansas After the national maximum speed limit was repealed, Kansas raised its general interstate speed limit to 70 miles per hour 110 kilometers per hour, a study found, "...no statistically significant increases in crash, fatal crash and fatality rates were noted during the after period on either rural or urban interstate highway networks." On the other hand, statistically significant increases in crash, fatal crash and fatality rates were observed on the two-lane rural highway network. In 2011 Governor Sam Brownback signed legislation raising Kansas' top speed limit to 75 miles per hour 121 kilometers per hour on rural interstates and limited access portions of U.S. routes, effective July 1, 2011. 
The Kansas Department of Transportation announced on June 21, 2011, that 807 miles of roadway, comprising the rural areas of I-70, I-35, I-135, the Kansas Turnpike and the freeway improved sections of US-69 and US-81, will be raised to 75 miles per hour. Other four-lane, non-limited access divided highways have a speed limit of 70 miles per hour, with 65 miles per hour on two-lane undivided roads, and 55 miles per hour on township roads. Prior to the national maximum speed limit, the speed limit on the Kansas Turnpike used to be 80 miles per hour, 130 kilometers per hour, but was reduced to 75 miles per hour on August 17, 1970. The minimum speed limit on Kansas interstates is 40 miles per hour. Topic: Kentucky. Kentucky generally has a 70 miles per hour speed limit on rural freeways as of 2007. The speed limit is reduced to 55 on multi-lane highways in some urban areas I-71 75ths of a south of Cincinnati, I-64, I-65, I-71 and I-264 in Louisville, and KY-4 in Lexington. There are two 50 mph areas in Louisville. One approaching the Sherman Minton Bridge crossing the Ohio River into Indiana on I-64, and one approaching the Kennedy Bridge on I-65 towards Indiana. The Transportation Cabinet is now authorized to raise any multilane, divided rural highway up to 65 mph based on speed and design studies. Anyone may request an increase by contacting their local Transportation Cabinet Office and specifying the roadway to be raised. Two-lane, undivided highways are limited to 55 mph. Points are not assessed for speeds less than 10 miles per hour over the speed limit only on limited access highways, or for tickets received by Kentucky licensed drivers out of state. Topic. Louisiana Louisiana's highest speed limit is 75 miles per hour, found on 154 miles of Interstate 49 in St. Landry, Avoyles, Evangeline, Rapides, Natchitoches, DeSoto and Caddo parishes. The 75 zone was established by the Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development in 2011 after a 2010 bill authorized the DOTD to implement 75 zones where proven to be safe. 70 miles per hour is posted on interstates 10, 12, 20, 49, 55, 59, 220, and 310. A speed limit of 60 miles per hour is posted on I-10 in Lake Charles, Baton Rouge, and from Laplace to New Orleans, I-12 in Baton Rouge, I-20 in Shreveport and Monroe, I-49 in Alexandria and Shreveport, I-310 in Destrehan, I-220 in Shreveport, U.S. Routes 71 and 167 in Kingsville, LA 3132, and Interstates 110, 210, 510, 600 10, and 910 note, part of I-10 in Baton Rouge was raised to 70 miles per hour, and part of I-12 in Baton Rouge was also raised to 65 miles per hour. Most two-lane highways in Louisiana have a maximum speed limit of 55 miles per hour. In August 2003, Governor Mike Foster announced speed and lane restrictions on trucks on the 18-mile stretch of Interstate 10 known as the Atchafalaya Swamp Freeway. The restrictions lower the truck speed limit to 55 miles per hour and restrict them to the right lane for the entire length of the elevated freeway. Topic Other laws There are exceptions to the basic highway and speed laws Divided highways in rural areas have a 65 miles per hour speed limits. Louisiana Law RS 32-61 B and 32-62 A states, 65 miles per hour on other multi-lane divided highways which have partial or no control of access. 
Louisiana operates under the reasonable and prudent basic law, no person shall drive a vehicle at a speed greater than is reasonable and prudent under the conditions and potential hazards then existing, having due regard for the traffic on, and the surface and width of, the highway, and the condition of the weather. RS 32-64 A, a person, who is operating a motor vehicle on a multi-lane highway at less than the normal speed of traffic, shall drive in the right-hand lane then available for traffic. RS 32-71 B, 1 Topic. Main Maine carries the highest speed limit on the East Coast, with Interstate 95 carrying a 75 miles per hour limit between Old Town and Holton. Sections of I-95 south of Old Town as well as I-295 carry 70 miles per hour limits, except for brief 50 to 65 zones in more populated areas. The Saco Stub I-195 is 60 miles per hour, and I-395 is 60 miles per hour in Bangor and 65 miles per hour in Brewer. Default speed limits in Maine are 20 miles per hour in a school zone within 30 minutes of the beginning or end of a school day, or during recess. 20 miles per hour near an intersection when the operator's view is obstructed unless right of way is given via signage 25 miles per hour in business or residential districts or other built up areas 45 miles per hour on other roads in main school buses may not exceed 45 miles per hour on roads with higher speed limits while transporting students at other times the limit is 55 miles per hour unless on an interstate highway in which case the posted limit applies also the speed limit on county road is 30 mph Fines for speeding are at least $50 by law. Exceeding the speed limit by 30 miles per hour or more is considered a criminal offense. <laughs> Maryland The speed limit on Maryland's interstate highways are posted by default at 65 miles per hour although 70 miles per hour limits can be posted after a traffic and engineering study. Effective October 1, 2015 the speed limit on I-68 is 70 miles per hour except for a 7-mile section around Cumberland. Effective April 4, 2016, the speed limit on I-70 has been increased to 70 miles per hour from the Pennsylvania state line to MD-180 in Frederick County and from MD-144 in Frederick County to US-29 in Howard County. Maryland's urban freeways normally have speed limits of 55 miles per hour, like I-495, or 60 miles per hour. Although some stretches are signed for 65 miles per hour travel, such as portions of I-95 and I-97 in and around the Baltimore suburbs, I-70 around Frederick, and I-81 around Hagerstown. I-70 around Hagerstown is posted at 70 miles per hour. More restrictive limits are found on I-83 south of North Avenue when approaching downtown Baltimore and on I-68 through Cumberland, both sections being marked at 40 miles per hour. Four-lane non-interstates and non-freeways are posted at 55 miles per hour. This includes the expressway grade roadways like US 50 and US 301 east of the Bay Bridge, US 15 north of Frederick to the Pennsylvania State Line, MD 404 around Denton and US 29 between I-495 and I-70. Normally, speed limit drops are in 5 miles per hour to 10 miles per hour increments. However, one speed zone drops from 55 to 25 miles per hour along US 301 southbound at the Nice Bridge for the toll plaza. Two lane roads are generally posted at 50 miles per hour, but there are a handful of routes posted at 55 miles per hour. It is more common to see 55 miles per hour on the eastern shore and in Frederick and Carroll counties than the Baltimore-Washington Corridor and Western Maryland. 
Two lane routes that have a speed limit of 55 miles per hour enforce mandatory headlight use. Urban and downtown speed limits are generally posted at 30 miles per hour. Topic: Massachusetts. As prescribed by Massachusetts law, default speed limits are the following: 15 miles per hour, 24 kilometers per hour in the area of a vehicle, for example, an ice cream truck that is selling merchandise and is displaying flashing amber lights. 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers per hour in a school zone when children are present. 30 miles per hour, 48 kilometers per hour on a road in a thickly settled or business district for at least one eighth mile, 200 meters. 40 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour on a road outside of a thickly settled or business district for at least one quarter mile, 400 meters. 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour on a divided highway outside of a thickly settled or business district for at least one quarter mile 400 meters state highways and other arterials are often posted at 35 to 40 miles per hour 56 to 64 kilometers per hour in urban areas and 45 to 50 miles per hour 72 to 80 kilometers per hour in rural areas a select number of undivided roads are posted at 55 miles per hour 89 kilometers per hour Divided highways are usually posted at 45 to 55 miles per hour, 72 to 89 kilometers per hour in rural areas as well as business districts. Interstate highways and some non-interstate controlled access highways in suburban and rural areas are posted at 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour, but many non-interstate highways are posted at 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour, such as the freeway portions of US 3, US 6, Route 2, and Route 128 or 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour, such as Massachusetts Route 3 south of Boston. Urban freeways are often posted at 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour, and occasionally lower, but some rural freeways that pass through urban areas maintain their 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour speed limit, such as the Massachusetts Turnpike through the Springfield and Worcester areas, a thickly settled district is an area where building structures such as residential and commercial are less than 200 feet 61 meters apart for a distance of 1 mile 1 kilometers or more. This can be subjective since a large part of eastern Massachusetts is built up with many different jurisdictions and different speed limits assigned. Michigan. The maximum speed limit in Michigan is 75 miles per hour, 121 kilometers per hour. Michigan uses a formula based on the number of driveways and streets, or on the 85th percentile of free-flowing traffic, and if none, those methods are used. A 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour default applies. In rural areas, speed limits are as follows. Freeway speeds for passenger vehicles range from 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour to 75 miles per hour, 121 kilometers per hour. Freeway speeds for trucks and military vehicles as 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour. Non-freeway speeds for passenger vehicles and trucks range from 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour to 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour. Freeways in Michigan are usually signed with both minimum and maximum speeds. By default, the freeway speed limit is 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour, with a minimum speed of 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour for all vehicles, despite a truck speed limit of 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour, effectively permitting trucks only a 10 miles per hour, 16 kilometers per hour range of legal speeds. 
The Mackinac Bridge has a speed limit of 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour for passenger vehicles and 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers per hour for trucks, but can be as low as 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers per hour during high winds. The Michigan Department of Transportation and the Michigan State Police may raise the speed limit to 75 miles per hour, 121 kilometers per hour, after it is deemed safe to do so. MDOT and the MSP announced on April 26, 2017, that the speed limit was increased to 75 miles per hour on several Michigan freeways, including I-75 from Bay City to Sault Ste. Marie, excluding the Mackinac Bridge, I-69 from Business Loop 69 in Clinton County to I-94 in St. Clair County, excluding the section in and around Flint, which remains at 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour. US 127 from I-69 in Clinton County to I-75 in Crawford County excluding the 15-mile stretch between St. John's and Ithaca, which is not freeway standard, and US 131 from M57 in Kent County to the end of the freeway north of Manton. These increases commenced on May 1, 2017 and were completed by May 15, 2017. Speed limits in freeway work zones are statutorily limited to 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour, 24 hours per day. If workers are present and not behind a barrier wall, drivers must slow to 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour for the worker's safety. Michigan's speed limits on urban interstates are typically higher than its neighboring states. For example, in the Detroit metro area, I-75 southbound enters Detroit at M-102 8-mile road, exit 59 and maintains a 70 miles per hour 110 kilometers per hour limit all the way until the interchange with I-94 exit 53, where the speed limit drops to 55 miles per hour 89 kilometers per hour. Other freeways in Detroit such as I-94 and I-96 also have 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour speed limits in and around the city's downtown area, but rise to 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour relatively soon after leaving the downtown area. In downtown Grand Rapids, I-196 has a speed limit of 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour, the only other urban interstate highway to have a reduced speed limit. US-131 in Grand Rapids is one of the only non-interstate urban freeways in Michigan with a 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour speed limit, which was raised from 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour since 2013. Furthermore, speed limits in smaller cities, such as Kalamazoo, Ann Arbor, and Lansing, the state capital, remain at 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour. The default speed on all other highways, whether two or four lanes, is 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour. However, Michigan permits speed limits of up to 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour, after a safety study concludes the higher limit is safe to implement. Until 2016, this provision only applied to four-lane divided non-limited access highways. A 20-mile stretch of US-127 between St. John's and Ithaca was posted at 65 miles per hour 105 kilometers per hour, as a compromise to allow a freer flow of traffic due to insufficient funds to improve the section to freeway standards. The speed limit on US-2 between Rapid River and Gladstone in the Upper Peninsula was also raised to 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour. In summer 2017, speed limits began increasing to 65 miles per hour on several select two-lane roads in both the lower and upper peninsulas of Michigan, including US-2 from St. Ignace to Rapid River and M-28 from I-75 to Munising. Topic. Midway Atoll 
The speed limit in Midway Atoll is 15 miles per hour, 24 kilometers per hour. Topic: Minnesota. Urban speeds are set by default to 30 miles per hour. A 70 miles per hour speed limit is only allowed on Minnesota's interstates outside of urban areas. A speed limit of 55 miles per hour is typically used in urban areas where a higher speed limit might be used, but traffic congestion or other reasons require a lower speed limit. Examples include I-94, I-35 West and I-35 East in and around Minneapolis, Moorhead and St. Paul. 35E goes down to a speed limit of 45 miles per hour in some areas of St. Paul. A speed limit of 60 miles per hour is typically used in suburban areas such as I-494 and I-694 loops in the Twin Cities metro area. Non-interstate divided highways, both freeways and expressways, have speed limits of 65 miles per hour in rural areas and up to 60 miles per hour in urban or suburban areas. Note: Some non-interstate divided highways have gotten speed limit increases in November 2017, such as US Route 169 in the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Rural two-lane state and U.S. highways in Minnesota have a default speed limits of 55 miles per hour although several 60 miles per hour speed limits have been posted after a traffic and engineering study that will continue until 2019. County roads have speed limits of up to 55 miles per hour for two lanes and 60 for divided sections. Topic. Mississippi A speed limit of 70 miles per hour is only allowed on Mississippi's rural freeways, only the interstates except I-110, U.S. Highway 78, Mississippi Highway 304, and a portion of U.S. Highway 82 have speed limits of 70 miles per hour, with these lengths making up approximately 86% of the state's freeway mileage. A speed limit of 65 miles per hour is typically used on the state's four-lane divided highways, which include parts of the following roadways. U.S. Route 45, U.S. Route 45 Alternate U.S. Route 49, U.S. Route 49 W U.S. Route 61 U.S. Route 72 U.S. Route 82 U.S. Route 84 U.S. Route 90 U.S. Route 98 U.S. Route 278 MS-15 MS-19 MS-25 MS-39 MS-57 MS-63 MS-67 MS-302 MS-605 MS 607A speed limit of 60 miles per hour is typically used in urban areas where a higher speed limit might be used, but traffic or geometric conditions constitute a lower speed limit, including the following areas: Interstate 20 in Vicksburg, from Jackson to Pearl, and Meridian, Interstate 55 from Jackson to Ridgeland, Interstate 59 in Laurel and Meridian. U.S. Route 61 in Tunica Resorts U.S. Route 78 in New Albany U.S. Route 82 in Columbus House Bill 3, passed during the 2008 first extraordinary session of the state legislature, permits speed limits up to 80 miles per hour 130 kilometers per hour on toll roads in the state. However, as of 2016, no such road has been constructed. Mississippi has a minimum speed of 30 miles per hour on four-lane U.S. highways when no hazard exists. Strangely, there is no law for the minimum speed of the state's growing number of four-lane state highways. The minimum is 40 miles per hour on interstate highways and on four-lane U.S. designated highways that have a 70 miles per hour speed limit. 
In 2004, Mississippi posted minimum speed limits, 40 miles per hour, on all rural interstates, but this minimum speed limit was already state law before then. Topic Missouri Statutory speed limits in Missouri are as follows, interstate highways and freeways in rural areas, 70 miles per hour expressways in rural areas, 65 miles per hour notable exceptions being the U.S. 54 and U.S. 63 expressways to the north of Jefferson City, which are at grade expressways with a 70 miles per hour speed limit interstates, freeways, and expressways in urban areas, 60 miles per hour other numbered state may maintained rural highways, 60 mph state gravel roads, 25 mph freeways are defined as, a limited access divided highway of at least 10 miles in length with four or more lanes which is not part of the federal interstate system of highways which does not have any crossovers or accesses from streets, roads or other highways at the same grade level as such divided highway within such 10 miles of divided highway. Expressways are defined as, a divided highway of at least 10 miles in length with four or more lanes which is not part of the federal interstate system of highways which has crossovers or accesses from streets, roads or other highways at the same grade level as such divided highway. Urban areas are defined as, an area of 50,000 population at a density at or greater than 1,000 persons per square mile. The Highways and Transportation Commission may raise or lower the speed limit on these highways, but no speed limit may be set above 70 miles per hour on a numbered highway and 60 miles per hour on a lettered highway. Interstate highways have minimum speed limits of 40 miles per hour. There have been talks of 75 miles per hour being enforced on interstate highways, but a bill allowing the law has yet to be enforced. Topic. Variable speed limits Missouri concluded a two-year experiment with variable speed limits along I-270 around St. Louis. Digital signs had been erected along the freeway as well as additional signs alerting drivers about the use of variable speed limits. The limits will vary between 40 and 60 miles per hour, depending on traffic conditions, and could change by up to 5 miles per hour every 5 minutes. These speed limits, as of January 2012, are now posted as advisory speed limits. During the closure and major rebuild of I-64 in St. Louis, an additional lane was added to I-44 and I-70, and the speed limit was thus reduced to 55 miles per hour on those roads within the St. Louis County and City. The I-64 construction has been completed, and the extra lanes were removed in 2010. In October 2010, the speed limit was restored to 60 miles per hour on both I-44 and I-70. Topic: Exceptions to the statutory limits. Most two-lane roads with shoulders have a 60 miles per hour speed limit in Missouri. Two-lane roads without shoulders are usually, but not always, limited to 55 miles per hour. However, the following two-lane highways have a 65 miles per hour speed limit when bypassing or outside of incorporated areas. U.S. 54 from El Dorado Springs west to the Kansas state line, from the Mo 73 intersection southwest of Max Creek to just west of the Niangua River Bridge, and also along the Mexico Bypass. U.S. 63 from Vienna south to Thayer, near the Arkansas state line. Some of this route has three lanes, with the passing lane alternating between northbound and southbound traffic. Mo 5 between Camdenton and Lebanon. This road has three lanes, with the passing lane alternating between northbound and southbound traffic. Mo 43 from US 54 south to Joplin. Mo 96 from I-44 west to Carthage Most rural expressways have a 65 miles per hour speed limit, but the following have a 70 miles per hour speed limit. 
US 54 from the south end of the Mexico Bypass to the Route W interchange just across the Missouri River from Jefferson City, with the exception of the I-70 interchange area at Kingdom City, which is 45 miles per hour. US 54 also has a 70 miles per hour speed limit from Fall Hill Road in Cole County to just north of the Business Route 54 intersection in Lake Ozark. US 63 from the south end of the Kirksville Bypass to US 54 north of Jefferson City, with the exception of the section through Columbia from Route B to Route AC, which is 65 miles per hour. MO7 from I-49 to just west of Clinton. The US 71 Expressway from Carthage to Harrisonville had a 70 miles per hour limit before it was upgraded to I-49, MO360 and US 160 outside of the Springfield, Missouri border has an upgraded speed limit of 70 mph from the speed limit of 60 mph most Missouri lettered highways are 55 miles per hour and in densely populated areas they can be less. There are several that have a speed limit of 60 miles per hour, though. Route M in Jefferson County is an expressway for most of its length, and most of the highway has a speed limit of 60 miles per hour. Route A in Jefferson County, an upgraded two-lane road with shoulders, has a 60 miles per hour speed limit. Route A travels between Hillsboro and Festus. Route B in Boone County is mostly an upgraded two-lane road with shoulders. As such, it has a 60 miles per hour speed limit from just north of Columbia to the end of the upgraded section one mile south of Hallsville. Route B in Cole County is a four-lane divided highway from US 54 to Lorenzo Green Drive in Jefferson City, and is an upgraded two-lane highway with shoulders for the rest of the way south towardsville. Both sections have a 60 miles per hour speed limit. Route C in Cole County is an upgraded two-lane highway with shoulders, and has a 60 miles per hour speed limit from just west of Jefferson City to just east of Russellville. Route A in Osage County follows the former routing of U.S. Route 50 from its intersection with modern-day U.S. 50 to Loose Creek. Since the roadway is designed to the same standards as a major highway, the speed limit is 60 on that stretch of road. In the urban areas of St. Louis, Kansas City, Columbia, St. Joseph, and Springfield, the speed limit typically drops to 60 miles per hour on interstates and freeways. In addition, on I-44 in Rolla, the speed limit is reduced to 60 miles per hour from just west of exit 184 to exit 186 because of a substandard design. Freeway speed limits in urban areas can be as low as 45 or 50 miles per hour in a few very short sections in downtown Kansas City and St. Louis, or as high as 65 miles per hour in the outer portions of the St. Louis, Kansas City and St. Joseph areas. The Cape Girardeau and Joplin areas have no reduced freeway speed limits, and I-435 around Kansas City has a 70 miles per hour limit from I-35 in Claycomo to the Kansas state line around the northern and western part of the metro area. I-29 in Kansas City has a limit of 70 miles per hour north of Berry Road in Platte County to south of Highway 169 in Buchanan County where the limit drops to 65 miles per hour. North of Frederick Road in Buchanan County the limit returns to 70 miles per hour until the Iowa State Line. Montana. As of October 1, 2015, the maximum speed limit in Montana is 80 miles per hour. On May 5, 2015, a bill to increase Montana's rural interstate highway speed limit to 80 miles per hour was signed into law by Governor Steve Bullock. Topic: Reasonable and prudent. 
In the years before the 1974 national 55 miles per hour limit, and for three years after the 1995 repeal of the increased 65 miles per hour limit, Montana had a non-numeric, reasonable and prudent speed limit during the daytime on most rural roads. Montana Code Annotated MCA Section 618303 said, A person shall drive the vehicle at a rate of speed no greater than is reasonable and proper under the conditions existing at the point of operation so as not to unduly or unreasonably endanger the life, limb, property, or other rights of a person entitled to the use of the street or highway." Montana law also specified a few numeric limits, a night speed limit, usually 55 or 65 miles per hour 89 to 105 kilometers per hour, depending on road type, 25 miles per hour 40 kilometers per hour in urban districts and 35 miles per hour 56 kilometers per hour in construction zones. The phrase, reasonable and prudent is found in the language of most state speed laws. This allows prosecution under non-ideal conditions such as rain or snow when the speed limit would be imprudently fast. <laughs> no speed limit On March 10, 1996, a Montana patrolman issued a speeding ticket to a driver traveling at 85 miles per hour, 136 kilometers per hour on a stretch of State Highway 200. The 50-year-old driver, Rudy Stanko, was operating a 1996 Chevrolet Camaro with less than 10,000 miles, 16,093 kilometers on the odometer. Although the officer gave no opinion as to what would have been a reasonable speed, the driver was convicted. The driver appealed to the Montana Supreme Court. The court reversed the conviction in case No. 97-486 on December 23, 1998. It held that a law requiring drivers to drive at a non-numerical, reasonable and proper, speed, is so vague that it violates the due process clause of the Montana Constitution." Effective May 28, 1999, as a result of that decision, the Montana Legislature established a speed limit of 75 miles per hour. Montana's U.S., state, and even secondary roads have speed limits posted 70 miles per hour, night, 65, truck, 60, night, 55. Seven years later, a research study conducted by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, a longtime advocate of the federal national maximum speed law, showed Montana's 75 miles per hour speed limit on rural interstates was well received by motorists. Traffic speed measurements taken by IIH showed 76% of cars in compliance with 75 miles per hour on those roads. IIHS also found large trucks subject to Montana's unchanged 65 miles per hour speed limit for large trucks on rural interstates slowed down dramatically, from a mean speed of 70 miles per hour in 1996 to 65 miles per hour in 2006, with the 85th percentile large truck speed dropping 11 miles per hour, from 79 miles per hour in 1996 to 68 miles per hour in 2006. Topic: 75 and 80 miles per hour speed limits. Despite this reversal, Montana's then governor, Mark Rasicot, did not convene an emergency session of the legislature. Montana technically had no speed limit whatsoever until June 1999, after the Montana legislature met in regular session and enacted a new law. The law's practical effect was to require numeric speed limits on all roads and disallow any speed limit higher than 75 miles per hour, 121 kilometers per hour. Montana law still contains a section that says 
A person shall operate a vehicle in a careful and prudent manner and at a reduced rate of speed no greater than is reasonable and prudent under the conditions existing at the point of operation, taking into account the amount and character of traffic, visibility, weather, and roadway conditions. However, this is a standard clause that appears in other state traffic codes and has the practical effect of requiring a speed lower than the speed limit where a lower speed is necessary to maintain a reasonable and prudent road manner. Montana also has limited sections of night speed limits. Other speed limits in Montana are 15 to 35 miles per hour in a school zone, 30 miles per hour in a residential district, 35 to 45 miles per hour on boulevards, 55 miles per hour on traffic light highways, 65 to 70 miles per hour on rural divided four-lane highways, and 55 to 70 miles per hour on rural two-lane undivided highways. Topic. Nebraska The maximum speed limit in Nebraska is 75 miles per hour on rural interstate highways. This speed limit only applies to Interstate 80 between Omaha and Lincoln, and west of Lincoln to the Wyoming state line, as well as the small section of Interstate 76 that enters the southwestern corner of the state from Colorado to join I-80. Freeways and expressways in urban areas are posted at 65 miles per hour. The speed limit in rural areas of Nebraska is 65 miles per hour unless otherwise posted, although rural divided highways and Super 2 highways are posted at 70 miles per hour. The most recent change to Nebraska's speed limits was enacted on April 17, 2018, which resulted in all maximum speed limits in the state except those for rural interstate highways being raised by 5 miles per hour. Topic: Nevada The maximum speed limits in Nevada are 70 to 80 miles per hour, 110 to 130 kilometers per hour on rural freeways, 65 to 75 miles per hour, 100 to 120 kilometers per hour on other rural divided highways, 55 to 70 miles per hour, 90 to 110 kilometers per hour on primary undivided roads, and 65 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour on urban freeways. I-15 is posted 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour, south of Las Vegas to match California's 70 miles per hour posted limit, and 75 miles per hour, 120 kilometers per hour, northeast of Las Vegas. US 95 north of Las Vegas is 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour. From south of US 93 near Boulder City south to State Route 163, it is 75 miles per hour, 120 kilometers per hour. I-80 from Reno, Nevada to Utah varies from 65 to 80 miles per hour, 100 to 130 kilometers per hour. Most rural sections are posted at 75 miles per hour, 120 kilometers per hour. The sections east of Oasis to the Utah border and between Fernley and Winnemucca are 80 miles per hour, 130 kilometers per hour as of 2018 except the portion in Lovelock. Mountainous sections and those laid through narrow valleys are usually 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour. West of Reno, I-80 is posted at 65 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, as it quickly transitions from suburban Reno to crossing the Sierra Nevada into California, where the limit is also 65 miles per hour. US 50 from Lake Tahoe to Ely and Utah is 65 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour. I-580 from exit 44 to just south of exit 56 is 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour, after which it is 65 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour. 
US 95, I 15, and I 215 through downtown Las Vegas are all posted at 65 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, prior to the imposition of the 50 and 55 miles per hour, 80 and 90 kilometers per hour speed limit in late 1973. Nevada also had a reasonable and proper speed limit non-numeric on most of its rural highways, both freeway and others. The speed limit on certain two-lane highways is 70 miles per hour including US 95 to the Oregon border where the speed limit drops to 65 miles per hour for trucks and on certain sections of US 6 and 50 as they cross the Nevada desert. Speed limits are 15 to 25 miles per hour in school zones and 25 to 30 miles per hour in residential districts. In 2015, the Nevada State Legislature voted to increase the statewide maximum speed limit to 80 miles per hour to take effect in October of that year. However, between October 2015 and May 2017, no 80 miles per hour speed limits were posted in the state. On May 8, 2017, the Nevada DOT installed 80 miles per hour speed limit signs on the 130 mile stretch of I 80 between Fernley and Winnemucca, excluding the Lovelock exits 106 and 107 area. On February 21, 2018, the Nevada DOT increased the speed limit on I 80 to 80 miles per hour between Oasis and West Wendover. In December 2018, the Nevada DOT increased the speed limit on more sections sections of I-80 to 80 miles per hour. The sections are from Winnemucca to Battle Mountain and from Elko to Wells. <laughs> <laughs> New Hampshire The highest speed limit in New Hampshire is 70 miles per hour 112.7 kilometers per hour. It can be found on Interstate 93 from mile marker 45 to the Vermont border excluding the Franconia Notch Parkway. All other freeways and turnpikes have a maximum of 65 miles per hour. The minimum speed on interstate highways in New Hampshire is 45 miles per hour where posted. Provided that no hazard exists that requires lower speed, the speed of any vehicle not in excess of the limit is deemed to be prima facie lawful. The limit for rural residential districts and Class 5 highways outside the city or town compact is 35 miles per hour. The limit for any business or urban residence district is 30 miles per hour. School zones receive a 10 miles per hour reduction in the limit 45 minutes before and after the beginning and end of a school day. The speed limit for a road work or construction area is 10 miles per hour lower than the normal speed limit, but not more than 45 miles per hour when work is in progress. The speed limit for all other locations is 55 miles per hour. The minimum limit that a speed can be set in a rural or urban district is 25 miles per hour. The speed limit on Interstate 93 through Franconia Notch State Park falls to 45 miles per hour where the highway narrows to one lane in each direction, but rises back to 70 miles per hour in 10 miles per hour increments going south once the highway leaves Franconia Notch. Interstate 393 in Concord has a 55 miles per hour posted speed limit for its entire length, with the exception of 45 miles per hour and 35 miles per hour zones on the westbound portion closest to the city center and the end of the highway. Interstate 293 speed limit through downtown Manchester falls to 50 miles per hour as it runs along the Merrimack River, but increases to 55 miles per hour on either side of the city center. Prior to 1974, the New Hampshire Turnpike, along with rural sections of Interstates 89 and 93, were posted at 70 miles per hour. Topic: New Jersey. New Jersey's only statutory speed limits are 50 miles per hour rural, 25 miles per hour urban. 
Since the state is largely suburbanized, it ranges between 25 to 50 miles per hour depending the jurisdiction of the road and whether the municipality is township, village, borough or city status. The common limited access freeway speed limit is 65 miles per hour. However, shorter length freeways such as US 202, Route 15, and Route 33 remain at 55 miles per hour. In all 65 miles per hour speed zones, the fines for speeding and other moving violations are doubled. This was the condition set for higher speed limits in New Jersey back in the late 1990s. Urban freeway speed limits are 50 to 55 miles per hour. However, some freeways in urban areas retain a 65 miles per hour speed limit such as the New Jersey Turnpike up to exit 13, Interstate 278, I-80 from the Delaware Water Gap, exit 4 to the Passaic River, exit 53, and I-78 from the Delaware River to the Newark border, exit 55. Only the New Jersey Turnpike has variable speed limits on its entire length. Four lane or greater state highways, often with a Jersey divider or grass median, are generally posted at 55 miles per hour, such as Route 73 from County Route 544 in Evesham Township to the Atlantic City Expressway. County four lane highways and municipal maintained four lane roads with a Jersey divider or grass median are not posted above 50 miles per hour. Two-lane rural state highways and county-maintained roads generally have 40 to 50 miles per hour limits. The only two-lane surface roads posted at 55 miles per hour in New Jersey are County Route 539, Route 70, and Route 72 in the Pine Barrens of Ocean and Burlington counties and Route 54 in Atlantic County. The Route 33 freehold bypass section where it is a Super 2 freeway is also 55 miles per hour. Urban two-lane roads in boroughs and cities are typically 25 miles per hour or 35 miles per hour. Residential streets at the municipal or county level are generally posted at 25 miles per hour speed limits in boroughs and cities. However, they can be as high as 40 to 45 miles per hour at the county level, less likely in municipal maintained roads. Generally, anything above 40 miles per hour becomes uncommon. However, there are a handful of 45 miles per hour residential stretches such as Terrell Road in Scotch Plains and Woodbridge Avenue, CR 514 in Edison. All rural non-posted roads have a speed limit of 50 miles per hour, as per state law. School zones through urban and suburban areas on two-lane roadways normally have a speed limit of 25 miles per hour when children are present. However, this limit can be as low as 20 miles per hour and as high as 35 miles per hour in some areas. Topic. New Mexico With the exception of wartime, New Mexico had no default numeric speed limit until the early 1950s. Prior to the national 55 miles per hour limit in 1974, the speed limit on rural interstates was 75 miles per hour during the day and 70 miles per hour at night. Primary highways in open areas had daytime speed limits of 70 miles per hour and nighttime ones of 60 miles per hour. Secondary highways in open areas had daytime speed limits of 60 miles per hour and nighttime ones of 50 miles per hour. Before the end of federal speed controls, the maximum speed limit was 65 miles per hour on interstate routes and 55 miles per hour elsewhere. In May 1996 legislation enacted by Governor Gary Johnson raised the absolute speed limit in New Mexico to 75 miles per hour. Signs are posted on the vast majority of the mileage of interstate routes to that effect. The default speed limit for any road where no speed limit is posted is 55 miles per hour. New Mexico has six major freeway facilities, which include three lengthy interstate routes. 
part of US 70 as a divided highway between Las Cruces and Alamogordo is the only section of non-interstate route as well as being the only road in New Mexico that's not a freeway to have the 75 miles per hour limit. As of January 2019, US 285 between Roswell and Vaughn will be raised to 75 miles per hour as well. New Mexico, Nevada, US 95 south of US 93, and Texas are the only three states with 75 miles per hour limits on roads that aren't freeways. There is no statutory requirement for reduced speeds on urban freeways so that, for example at Santa Fe and Las Vegas the speed limit remains 75 miles per hour on I-25. New Mexico, Kansas, North Dakota, Colorado, and Texas are the only states to have a speed limit greater than 70 miles per hour in urban highways. Nonetheless, there are 65 miles per hour limits on freeways in more heavily urbanized areas such as Albuquerque and Las Cruces. Other reduced speed limits do exist, but the lowest speed limit under normal conditions on New Mexico's freeways is 55 miles per hour, which can be found on two sections of Interstate 25, the first section being 3 miles from the Big Eye to Gibson Boulevard in Albuquerque, and the second being a short stretch near Raton Pass. These particular stretches of I-25 were originally built as relocations of US-85, whose design and construction predate the interstate highway era. As such, these stretches do not meet modern interstate highway standards, and have closely spaced interchanges, sharp curves, and or limited sight distances. By statute, other state-maintained roads may have speed limits of up to 75 miles per hour. Four-lane divided highways in open areas often have 65 miles per hour limits, with some 70 miles per hour limits, such as almost the entire length of US 550 from Bloomfield to Bernalillo. There is a trend toward posting a 70 miles per hour limit on these highways, such as the recent 70 miles per hour speed limit posting increased from 65 miles per hour on a 23-mile stretch of US 70 west of Roswell. Primary two-lane highways in open areas with parking shoulders often have 65 miles per hour limits. Most primary two-lane highways without parking shoulders in open and mixed rural areas still have a 55 miles per hour limit, but some have 60 miles per hour limits. A 65 miles per hour left lane minimum speed limit is sometimes indicated on 75 miles per hour roads with steep grades slower traffic keep right is also in effect on one way roadways state law reserves the left and center lanes of two or more lanes for passing there are reduced advisory speed limits for some roads during poor weather speeding fines are doubled in construction zones and designated safety corridors with signs often stating this there are no longer night speed limits, nor are there any differential speed limits for heavy trucks. There are two other statutory speed limits in New Mexico that are often altered, especially on urban arterials or even city or countywide, 30 miles per hour in a business or residence district, and 15 miles per hour near schools at certain times. For example, in Albuquerque the default speed limit is 30 miles per hour as per state law, but many streets have a different speed limit. Some school zones there have 20 miles per hour speed limits. The city of Santa Fe's default speed limit is 25 miles per hour. Although there are no signs to make drivers aware of the altered limit, the limit is signed on most roads where it applies. Los Alamos County alters the urban default and absolute speed limits to 25 miles per hour and 50 miles per hour respectively, but posts signs at county lines. The speed limit on NM 502 between San Ildefonso Pueblo and Pewaukee Valley High School had a 65 mph speed limit. In November 2005, the stretch between NM 4 and Pewaukee became a safety corridor. In 2007, the speed limit on the San Ildefonso Pewaukee stretch was lowered to 55 miles per hour. 
on Highway 68, the speed limit is 60 miles per hour on much of the four-lane stretch between Española and Velarde. Minimum 65 left lane signs are posted on I-40 west of Albuquerque. A night speed limit of 30 miles per hour is posted on State Highway 7 west of White City going into Carlsbad Caverns. Truck speed limit signs are rarely posted. One road has a posted limit of 45 miles per hour, trucks, 35 in Escondida, just north of Socorro, and US 82 east of Alamogordo has a posted limit of 55 miles per hour, trucks, 50 for approximately a two-mile stretch. As of December 24, 2009, US 54 still has a 55 miles per hour speed limit north of Tularosa. Yet NM9 and CRA003 have a 65 miles per hour speed limit east of Columbus to NM136 near Santa Teresa. CRA003, Columbus Santa Teresa Highway, is the only county road in New Mexico to exceed the statutory maximum 55 miles per hour speed limit for county roads. Interstate 10 was 70 miles per hour between the Texas-New Mexico state line and 2 miles south of I-25 in Las Cruces until October 2012, when it was raised to 75 miles per hour. While it is 75 miles per hour in the rest of New Mexico, the speed limit is 65 miles per hour in Las Cruces, Deming, and Lordsburg. I-25 was posted 70 miles per hour in Sandoval County from the Bernalillo Sandoval County line to US 550, but the limit was raised to 75 miles per hour in May 2014. State Highway 30, a paved two-lane road with shoulders, has a 55 miles per hour speed limit from NM 502 to the junction with the road for Santa Clara Pueblo, then reduces to 45 miles per hour and then to 40 miles per hour upon entering the Española city limits. Prior to 2008, the speed limits were 60 miles per hour from NM 502 until the junction with the road for Santa Clara Pueblo, where it reduced to 45 miles per hour, raised back to 60 miles per hour until the Española city limits, where it reduced to 50 miles per hour, and then to 40 miles per hour near its northern terminus at US 84, 285. US 84, 285 between Santa Fe and Pewaukee, before it was upgraded to a freeway, had a 45 miles per hour limit from Guadalupe Road in Santa Fe to the interchange with NM 599, increased to 55 miles per hour to the southern terminus of Santa Fe County Road 73, increased to 60 miles per hour until entering Cuyamung, decreased to 55 miles per hour, and then to 45 miles per hour upon entering Pewaukee. Since it was upgraded to a full freeway in 2005, the speed limit from Guadalupe Road to NM 599 is now 55 miles per hour, increases to 65 miles per hour until Pewaukee where it briefly reduces to 50 miles per hour and then to 45 miles per hour. The posted speed limit on Silver Avenue in Albuquerque is 18 miles per hour. When the route was designated as a bicycle route in the late 2000s, Albuquerque officials established the unusual 18 miles per hour speed limit on Silver Avenue to increase motorists' awareness of the street's designation as a city bicycle route. Most of US 285 non-freeway between Vaughan and Roswell is posted at 75 miles per hour as of December 2018. Outside of Bernalillo County, no points are assessed to one's license for speeding in rural areas in New Mexico, unless the excessive speed was a contributing factor to a traffic accident. <laughs> New York Speed limits are statutory set by law or regulatory enacted by regulation, not necessarily by engineering standards. New York has a blanket statutory, reasonable and prudent, 
Speed law, the highest posted speed limit in New York is 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour, found only on limited access freeways including some state highways, most of the New York State Thruway and select interstate highways. The default speed limit posted as the state speed limit is 55 miles per hour, which is in effect unless otherwise posted or in the absence of speed limit signs. The New York State Department of Transportation sets speed limits in the vast majority of the state. Counties and most towns must petition DOT to change a speed limit. State law allows villages, cities, towns with more than 50,000 residents, and certain towns defined by law to be suburban to set speed limits on state, county, and local roads within their borders. There is no state law regarding minimum speed limits, but minimum speed limit of 40 miles per hour has been set on the entire length of Interstate 787 and the entire length of Interstate 495 the Long Island Expressway. The New York State Thruway does not have a firm minimum speed, but there are signs advising drivers to use their flashers when traveling at speeds below 40 miles per hour. While New York does not have truck speed restrictions per se, the New England Thruway Interstate 95 features State Speed Limit 55. Signs right next to Truck Speed Limit 50. Signs New York law allows area speed limits. An area speed limit applies to all highways within a specified area, except those specifically excluded. The area may be an entire municipality, or only a specific neighborhood. The defined area may also be the grounds of a school, hospital, or other institution. Area speed limits are signed at their perimeters with signs reading, Area Speed Limit and the speed limit value shown below area may be replaced with a term that more precisely defines the area boundaries such as town city park village or campus normally the end of a lowered speed limit is marked with a sign reading state speed limit 55 indicating that the statewide speed limit applies in areas where a curve or other road condition makes the state speed limit inadvisable, a sign reading, End XXM, P, H, Limit, may be used, with XX replaced with the speed limit value. A, State Speed Limit 55, sign should be installed after the curve. This sign is sometimes misused in locations where the speed limit changes to a speed other than 55 miles per hour. This is mainly applied on both undivided and divided rural non-freeway routes. Though rarely seen, some divided roadways are set as low as 45 miles per hour but mainly stay at the state speed limit of 55 miles per hour. In one exceptional case, that of the Skajakwata Expressway, the speed limit was lowered to 30 miles per hour in 2016 after a fatality. The top speed limit in most residential, urban and business district areas is at 30 miles per hour, and state law prohibits speed limits below 25 miles per hour on most common residential areas, though a speed limit of 25 is mainly only used in the New York City area and rarely seen outside of said area. However, school speed limits may be set as high as 30 miles per hour to as low as 20 miles per hour. New York City has established a number of 20 miles per hour neighborhood slow zones in residential neighborhoods. In residential neighborhood areas outside of New York City range between 30 to 40 miles per hour and 35 to 45 miles per hour on suburban, urban arterial routes. New York's criminal procedure law prevents law enforcement personnel from issuing a ticket for any offense that they did not witness personally, meaning that, among other ramifications, the state's electronic toll collection system cannot be used for speed enforcement. History 
Many expressways and parkways in the New York City suburbs were posted as high as 65 miles per hour. During the 1973 oil embargo, New York lowered its speed limit to 50. The national maximum speed law brought statewide speed limits up to 55. The city of New York, being a city, retained the 50 miles per hour speed limit. New York did not take advantage of the 1987 congressional provision allowing 65 miles per hour zones on rural freeways, instead waiting until NMSL's repeal in late 1995. Actually, portions of the NY State Thruway, I-88, I-84, west of the Hudson River, I-81 and the Adirondack Northway, I-87 north of exit 7, were increased to 65 miles per hour on August 1, 1995 prior to the elimination of the NMSL. Until September 2003, the state legislature needed to approve individual 65 miles per hour zones, a lengthy process taking months or years of politically motivated debate. Then Governor George Pataki signed legislation in September 2003 that enables NYSDOT and New York State Thruway Authority to raise speed limits to 65 miles per hour on its roads that meet established design and safety standards. This legislation became active in March 2004, and was the reason for the 65 zones on NY Route 7, locally known as Alternate Route 7. Interstate 684 and Interstate 84 east of the Hudson River in New York. Topic: North Carolina. Along rural primary and secondary roads outside municipal limits in North Carolina, the statutory speed limit is 55 miles per hour unless otherwise posted. Prior to the national maximum speed law that went into effect nationwide, North Carolina used to have 60 miles per hour speed limits on two-lane primary and secondary roads. Inside the municipal limits, the statutory speed limit is 35 miles per hour unless otherwise posted. The downtown statutory speed limit is 20 miles per hour unless otherwise posted. Reduce speed ahead. RSA signage is the norm whenever the speed limit drops at any level. Note that the NC dot uses the imperative verb, reduce, instead of the adjectival form, reduced, that is standard in other states, although some municipalities now use, reduced, in their signs. In addition, a speed limit drop of 15 miles per hour or greater normally includes a second warning sign after the RSA. For example, in a 55 miles per hour zone, a sign prior to the RSA sign would say, Begin 35 1000 feet ahead, and then the 35 miles per hour posted speed limit. Three to eight lane boulevards with or without center turn lanes range from 35 miles per hour to 50 miles per hour within municipal limits statewide. It is rare that NCDOT will assign a speed drop greater than 20 miles per hour. In Bertie County, the US 17 bypass in Windsor drops from 70 miles per hour to 45 miles per hour. In Moore County, Shady Lane Road outside of Carthage in the Hillcrest community drops from 55 miles per hour to 30 miles per hour. School zone speed limits generally entail a 10 to 20 miles per hour reduction below the original speed limit during times of day used for school arrivals and departures. Such a speed limit would be indicated when entering the school zone. Also, the default or modified speed limit is indicated after leaving the school zone. A school zone speed limit cannot be less than 20 miles per hour. Military bases are generally posted at a maximum of 50 miles per hour. As of May 2010, Fort Bragg military two-lane roadways are now posted at 55 miles per hour instead of 50 miles per hour. Prior to May 2010, the speed limits higher than 50 miles per hour through military bases were only on NC. 
Highway 690 along the north side of Fort Bragg, Murchison Road also known as NC. Highway 210 and the All-American Freeway which is classified and numbered as a state-maintained secondary road even though it is a freeway. The state park speed limit is 25 miles per hour unless otherwise posted. These are not limited to places such as Hanging Rock State Park and Mount Mitchell State Park. The Blue Ridge Parkway is 45 miles per hour. However, there are occasional 35 miles per hour stretches. The National Park Service is responsible for highway maintenance and speed enforcement on the parkway. The county governments of North Carolina do not have any control over speed limits or any other aspect of road operation, as there are no county roads in the state. Municipalities, on the other hand, can set speed limits on city-controlled roadways, subject to applicable state laws. Freeways and expressways with no primary route number are part of the state secondary road system and bear route numbers of 1,000 or greater. Their maximum posted speed limit is 55 miles per hour with four exceptions. A speed limit of 70 miles per hour is relatively uncommon in much of metropolitan North Carolina, though it applies to many rural interstate highways in the state, as well as several non-interstate freeways. The following are the only roads with 70 miles per hour limits. Interstate 40 from Old Fort to Morganton, from Statesville to Clemens, and from Clayton to Wilmington, Interstate 73 74 of a south of Ashboro to Illerby. Interstate 77 north of Statesville. Interstate 85 from mile marker 70 south of Salisbury to mile marker 130 east of Greensboro, and through Granville County as of October 2015. Interstate 95 from the SC State Line to Exit 10 Chicken Road, along the Fayetteville Bypass and north of Kenley to the VA State Line. Interstate 140 on the Wilmington Bypass. Interstate 485 for the entire length. Interstate 540 for the entire length. Interstate 795 from Goldsboro to Wilson. Triangle Expressway for the entire length. U.S. Highway 1 from the southern end of the Sanford Bypass to NC 55 in Apex. U.S. Highway 17 on the Elizabeth City and Windsor Bypasses. U.S. Highway 29 from Reedsville to the Virginia State Line. U.S. Highway 64 from Interstate 440 to Williamston except on the Rocky Mount Bypass and from Plymouth to Columbia. U.S. Highway 70 on the Clayton Bypass, and from Dover to New Bern. U.S. Highway 74, future Interstate 74 on the Rockingham Hamlet Bypass and from Chadbourne to Whiteville, as well as a section from NC 108 east of I-26 in Polk County to Mile 187 in Rutherford County. U.S. Highway 264 from Wendell to Greenville. NC Route 147 between NC Route 540 and I-40, these lengths make up approximately 589 miles, or 27%, of the total freeway mileage in North Carolina, 405 miles or 31% of the state's growing interstate system. Four-lane freeway-grade highways are generally posted at 65 miles per hour through the state of North Carolina. Topic 60 miles per hour speed limits Interstate freeways with 60 miles per hour speed limits are found along on I-26 between Asheville and Hendersonville and north of Asheville to Tennessee, I-40 between Asheville and Waynesville and through Greensboro, on I-85 in Gaston east of US-321 to the Mecklenburg County line and Mecklenburg counties and through Durham, on I-440 along the northern half of Raleigh's Beltline non-interstate freeways US highways with 60 miles per hour speed limits are found along on the US 1 Henderson bypass as of December 2011 US 23 Waynesville bypass US 64 over the Virginia Dare Memorial Bridge between Mans Harbor and Manteo 
US 74 Lorenberg Bypass and in Brunswick County from the Leland Industrial Park to NC 133, US 301, Business 95 between Fayetteville and Eastover, the US 311 High Point Bypass and the US 401 Fayetteville Bypass. Only two state secondary road freeways in the state that has a 60 miles per hour speed limit are the Wade Avenue Extension as of February 2012 and Aviation Parkway from south of Globe Road to Airport Boulevard as of July 2014, which are both in Raleigh. 60 miles per hour speed limits along non-freeway segments are growing in popularity and have replaced 55 miles per hour limits on several boulevard and expressway segments throughout the state. The boulevard speed limit changes go against the NCDOT rationale behind signing 60 miles per hour speed limits along only freeway and expressway segments. As of June 1, 2008, some examples of the affected boulevards are US 17 north of Elizabeth City, US 74 east of Wadesboro and NC 11 in Pitt County. 60 miles per hour speed limits along expressways are US 1 in northeastern Moore County, US 17 on bypass routes in Brunswick County, US 74 east of I-95, US 117 in Wayne County and Duplin County, US 220 in Rockingham County only along bypass segments and on NC 16 in Lincoln and Catawba counties as of October 2012. Previously, the entire US 220 alignment from NC 68 to the Virginia state line was 60 miles per hour but went back to 55 miles per hour between NC 68 and NC 704. Three state secondary road expressways in the state that have a 60 miles per hour speed limit are the US 117 connector in Sampson and Duplin counties between US 117 and I-40, the designation in Sampson County leaving I-40 towards Duplin County as State Route 1783, Connector Road, and the unnumbered connector northwest of Kinston serving the Global Transpark. There is a default minimum speed limit on interstate and primary highways only when signs are present. The minimum is 40 miles per hour if the maximum is 55 miles per hour. The minimum is 45 miles per hour if the maximum is at least 60 miles per hour. These minimums do not apply to vehicles that are towing other vehicles. North Carolina as well as other states operates a Safe Driving Incentive Plan SDIP, a program that leads to insurance surcharges for moving violations based on a point system. In general, for speeding violations less than 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit in a speed zone less than 55 miles per hour, one point is assessed, two points are assessed for exceeding 10 miles per hour over the limit or speeding in a zone with a speed limit of greater than 55 miles per hour. A driver's license will be suspended for traveling faster than 15 miles per hour over the speed limit, provided the speed traveled is greater than 55 miles per hour. Suspensions can result for other speeding infractions, such as traveling faster than 75 miles per hour in a 65 miles per hour or less zone or faster than 80 miles per hour in a 70 miles per hour zone. Topic. North Dakota North Dakota's major interstates, I-29 and I-94, hold a 75 miles per hour speed limit in most rural areas, with 55 to 75 miles per hour zones within portions of the Fargo and Bismarck, Mandan urban areas. I-29 in Grand Forks is signed at 75 miles per hour. The state's four-lane divided highways as well as two short stretches of undivided four-lane highways US-2 around Rugby and US-83 as it passes the eastern Lake Sakakawea Reservoir usually carry a 70 mph limit, with two-lane restricted to up to a 65 mph limit, and gravel roads have up to 55 mph limits. 
Roads within cities hold their own defined limits with 25 mph speed limits common in residential streets and 25 to 40 miles per hour limits on urban 4 to 6 lane divided and undivided streets with school zones at 15 to 25 miles per hour. On January 3, 2017, a bill was introduced to increase the rural speed limit on I-29 and I-94 to 80 miles per hour. The bill also would have called for 75 miles per hour speed limits on four-lane divided highways and 70 miles per hour speed limits for two-lane roads. However, state senate rejected both bills. Topic: <laughs> Northern Mariana Islands. The speed limit in the Northern Mariana Islands is 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour. Topic: Ohio. The maximum speed limit found on highways in Ohio is 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour, on the Ohio Turnpike, rural freeways, and both the expressway and freeway portions of US 30 from Mansfield, Ohio to the Indiana state line and US 33 from Wapakoneta to St. Mary's, Ohio. The speed limit ranges from 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour to 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour on other divided highways. A small portion of the westbound lane, less than 500 feet of State Route 16 in Licking County is signed at 70 mph slightly before the route upgrades from a two-lane non-divided to a four-lane divided highway, but otherwise, no non-divided highway in the state currently has a speed limit higher than 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour, though ODOT is now permitted to increase undivided roads to 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour. Ohio is the only state east of the Mississippi River to allow 70 miles per hour speed limits on non-freeway roads. Both divided and non-divided roads, Ohio has an urban speed limit of 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour on interstates by state law, yet many urban areas have lower speed limits due to safety concerns found in speed studies. These commonly are in the 50 to 60 miles per hour range. For instance, in most of Metro Dayton and Cincinnati, as well as in downtown Columbus, the speed limit is 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour, while in Cleveland, Toledo, and Akron the speed limit is 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour. However, in central Cleveland along the inner belt, the speed limit is 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour. On one case, however, the Ohio Turnpike has a 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour in the outer suburbs of Toledo, Akron, and Cleveland, even since all 241 miles of the highway has the 70 miles per hour speed limit. Some urban areas are also posted with minimum speed limits, usually with a minimum of 40 or 45. At one time, portions of Interstate 76 and Interstate 77 in downtown Akron had a maximum speed limit of 50 miles per hour and a minimum speed limit of 35 miles per hour. School zones in Ohio normally have a 20 miles per hour speed limit, regardless of the road's normal speed limit, in effect during school hours. Topic. Oklahoma In Oklahoma, the maximum posted speed limit is 75 miles per hour on turnpikes and 70 miles per hour on all other freeways. Most other rural highways, divided or undivided, have a 65 miles per hour speed limit, although some rural divided highways have a 70 miles per hour limit. The minimum speed limit on almost all interstate highways, freeways, and turnpikes is 40 miles per hour, except when the speed limit is 75 miles per hour found only on turnpikes, in which case the minimum speed is 50 miles per hour. In addition, rural sections of turnpike are supplemented with a sign warning. 
no tolerance. On May 9, 2016, Governor Fallon signed HB 3167 which removes numerical caps on rural highway speed limits in Oklahoma which took effect in November 2016. Even with this bill the speed limits across the state are not expected to change because of budget issues in doing studies. Oregon. The highest posted speed limit in Oregon is 70 miles per hour on I-84 east of the Dalles, I-82 and US-95 trucks 65 miles per hour. Oregon state statutes allow for a maximum speed limit of 70 miles per hour on rural interstate highways, and the law gives the Oregon Department of Transportation ODOT discretion to define which freeway segments to post the 70 miles per hour speed limit. ODOT did not raise speed limits beyond 65 miles per hour on other freeways, and strongly opposed legislative efforts to raise the maximum allowable speed limit. However, in July 2015, Governor Kate Brown signed a bill raising speed limits on several highways in eastern Oregon. The bill included provisions to raise the speed limit to 70 miles per hour on I-84 and US-95. It was announced on October 6, 2017 that the truck speed limit will be increasing to 60 miles per hour on rural interstate highways where the car speed limit is 65 miles per hour as soon as new signs are posted. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Engineering studies. Although the speed limit can be raised to 70 miles per hour based on engineering studies under current law, ODOT has not identified any freeway sections that it believes should be raised beyond the 65 miles per hour limit. In 2004, ODOT had released an engineering study on the average and 85th percentile speeds on interstate highways. This study found that the 85th percentile speed on rural interstates by passenger cars was 71.1 miles per hour with a statewide average of 66.3 miles per hour. The engineering study recommended raising the speed limit on rural interstates to 70 miles per hour. Despite this, ODOT initially refused to post the 70 miles per hour limit due to safety concerns and its associated monetary costs. However, there appears to be no higher fatality levels in other states when the limit was raised. In all rural areas in Oregon, the speed limit is 55 unless otherwise posted. Until 2002, Oregon state law required that all speed limit signs omit the word limit from their display. The reasoning behind this was related to the explicit basic speed law that existed, which allowed citation for exceeding speeds too fast for conditions, regardless of the posted speed. The typeface of the numerals on the signs varies greatly depending on which jurisdiction made the sign, due to its non-standardized design. In 2002, the Oregon Department of Transportation revised its supplement to the MUTCD, mandating the omission of the word limit except on signs posted on interstate highways and within city limits. As of 2014, ODOT has replaced nearly all speed signs posted on interstates with speed limit signs, but it was left to the various city governments to replace signs in their jurisdictions at their leisure, if at all. Thus, older speed signs are still a common sight across the state. Topic: <laughs> Attempts to raise speed limits. Throughout the late 1990s, the Oregon State Legislature passed multiple bills that would have raised the speed limit to 75 miles per hour on rural interstate highways and up to 70 miles per hour on certain rural two-lane highways in the eastern portions of the state. Each year, Governor John Kitzhaber vetoed the bill due to safety concerns and he was worried that the 20 miles per hour increase in car and truck speeds would raise road hazards. 
In 2003, the Oregon State Legislature passed a bill that would have raised the maximum permissible speed limit on interstate highways to 70 miles per hour for cars with a 5 miles per hour differential for trucks, up from the previous 65 miles per hour limit for cars with a 10 miles per hour differential. This bill was signed into law by then newly elected Governor Ted Kulangoski on September 26, 2003. Although ODOT's 2004 study revealed that it is safe for cars to be traveling at 70 miles per hour and trucks at 60 miles per hour, the Oregon Department of Transportation decided to not initially implement the increase out of concerns that it would not be safe to have trucks traveling at 65 miles per hour. Prior to the national maximum speed law, the speed limit on Oregon freeways was 75 miles per hour with some 70 limits on two-lane roads in eastern portions of the state. On July 20, 2015, Governor Brown signed HB 3402 into law. This bill raises the speed limit on I-84 east of the Dalles, I-82 HB 4047 signed February 23, 16 and US 95 to 70 miles per hour for cars and 65 miles per hour for trucks. It also increases speed limits on several other two-lane rural highways to 65 miles per hour for cars and 60 miles per hour for trucks in eastern Oregon. The law took effect on March 1, 2016. Topic: School speed limits. In 2004, a law was passed revising Oregon's school speed limit laws. In school zones, on roads with speed limits of 30 miles per hour or below, drivers were required to slow to 20 miles per hour 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, regardless of whether or not children were present. This replaced most when children are present placards. If the speed limit was 35 miles per hour or higher, the school zone limit would be imposed either by flashing yellow lights or a placard denoting times and days of the week when the limit was in effect. The at all times rule was highly unpopular with motorists and was widely ignored. In 2006, the law was revised again, taking away the at all times requirement and replacing it with a time of day system, usually school days, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. School crossings with flashing yellow lights remain. In many communities, school zones are strictly enforced and speed traps in these areas are commonly employed. ODOT has not chosen a variation of speed between two-lane roads in Oregon, regardless of the terrain. Any rural two-lane road in the state has a default speed limit of 55 miles per hour. Town speed limits are 20 miles per hour in an alley, 20 miles per hour in a school zone, 35 miles per hour on boulevards, and 45 miles per hour on roads with traffic lights. Topic. Pennsylvania In Pennsylvania the maximum freeway speed limit is generally 65 miles per hour 105 kilometers per hour, with select sections of rural freeway and most of the Pennsylvania Turnpike signed at 70 miles per hour 113 kilometers per hour, or 55 miles per hour 89 kilometers per hour, such as most of standalone Interstate 70. The speed limit on urban freeways ranges from a low of 40 miles per hour in downtown Pittsburgh and Philadelphia to a high of 70 miles per hour in some suburban areas. In 1940, when the Pennsylvania Turnpike was opened between Irwin and Carlisle, the entire 160 mile limited access toll road did not have a speed limit, similar to that of the German autobahns. In 1941, a speed limit of 70 miles per hour, 113 kilometers per hour, was established only to be reduced to 35 miles per hour, 56 kilometers per hour during the war years 1942 to 45. 
After World War II, the limit was raised to 70 miles per hour on the four-lane sections, with the two-lane tunnels having 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour for cars and 40 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour for trucks. Prior to the 1974 federal speed limit law, all interstates and the turnpike had a 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour speed limit on rural stretches and 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour speed limit in urban areas. In 1995, the state raised the speed limit on rural stretches of interstate highways and the Pennsylvania Turnpike system to 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour, with urban areas having a 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour limit. In 1997, PennDOT raised the speed limit to some rural non-interstate highway bypasses to 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour. In 2005, with the change in the designation of urban zones in the state, actually the law eliminating the prohibition against 65 miles per hour limits in urban areas was enacted in 2000. It took PennDOT and the PTC five years to realize the law had been changed. The entire lengths of both the Pennsylvania Turnpike's east west mainline and northeast extension were given 65 miles per hour 105 kilometers per hour limits, except at the tunnels and through the very winding 5.5 mile 9 kilometers eastern approach to the Allegheny Mountain Tunnel. The 70 miles per hour speed limit was authorized by House Bill 1060, which was signed by Governor Tom Corbett on November 25, 2013. On July 18, 2014, the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission announced the return of the 70 miles per hour speed limit on a 97 mile stretch of the mainline from the Blue Mountain Interchange (MP201) to the Morgantown Interchange (MP298). Signs were erected on July 22, 2014. On July 23, 2014, PennDOT announced the speed limit will be increased to 70 miles per hour on I-80 between Interchange 101 in Dubois, Clearfield County and Milepost 189 in Clinton County and on I-380 between Interchange 8 MP10 near Mount Pocono, Monroe County and the junction with I-84 in Lackawanna County, on or around August 11, 2014 as a pilot project. On March 15, 2016, the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission approved raising the speed limit on the remaining 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour sections of the turnpike to 70 miles per hour, 115 kilometers per hour sections that are posted at 55 miles per hour, 90 kilometers per hour will retain that speed limit. On May 2, 2016, PennDOT announced that the speed limit will be increased to 70 miles per hour, 115 kilometers per hour, on about 800 miles, 1,300 kilometers of roadway across the state, with conversion to take place on May 3. A total of 396 miles 637 kilometers of the Pennsylvania Turnpike system will increase from 65 miles per hour 105 kilometers per hour to 70 miles per hour 115 kilometers per hour, including the extensions in southwestern Pennsylvania. The speed limit of the Pennsylvania Turnpike will remain 55 miles per hour, 90 kilometers per hour, within construction zones and tunnels at mainline toll plazas on the eastern approach of the Allegheny Mountain Tunnel and between Ben Salem and the Delaware River Bridge. The speed limit will also be increased to 70 miles per hour, 115 kilometers per hour, on 400 miles, 640 kilometers of highway maintained by PennDOT, including rural stretches of I-79, I-80, I-99, I-380, and US-15. On non-freeway roads, speed limits are generally held at 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour for rural four-lane roads, 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour for rural two-lane roads, 45 to 55 miles per hour, 72 to 89 kilometers per hour for urban four-lane roads and 40 to 45 sometimes, but rarely 50 miles per hour, MPH 64 to 72 kilometers per hour 
hour for urban two-lane roads, 35 to 45 miles per hour for roads in commercial business areas, 30 to 35 miles per hour, 56 kilometers per hour for major roads in residential areas, 20 to 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour for most municipal residential streets, including main north-south and east-west roads in county seats and other mid-sized to large towns, and 15 to 20 miles per hour. 24 kilometers per hour for school zones during school arrival and departure times only it is also only in effect on days that the school the road goes near is in session many schools have signs that blink when the school speed limit is in effect there is no reduced school speed on divided highways even if the school sits right beside the highway all state-owned two-lane roads in rural areas within Pennsylvania have a default speed limit of 55 miles per hour unless otherwise posted. The Pennsylvania Turnpike has a minimum speed limit of 15 miles per hour below the posted maximum speed, though the minimum is only sporadically posted. This is not enforced for slow-moving trucks in areas with steep grades and signs are posted that instruct drivers to use their flashers if traveling below 50 miles per hour 40 if the speed limit is 55. Pennsylvania has no default minimum speed limit on any other roads. However, minimum speed limits on certain highways may be enacted and posted as provided by Section 3364C of the Pennsylvania Motor Vehicle Code, Title 75 of the Pennsylvania Consolidated Statutes, Section 3364 also requires except when reduced speed is necessary for safe operation or in compliance with law, whenever any person drives a vehicle upon a roadway having width for not more than one lane of traffic in each direction at less than the maximum posted speed and at such a slow speed as to impede the normal and reasonable movement of traffic, the driver shall, at the first opportunity when and where it is reasonable and safe to do so and after giving appropriate appropriate signal, drive completely off the roadway and onto the berm or shoulder of the highway. The driver may return to the roadway after giving appropriate signal only when the movement can be made in safety and so as not to impede the normal and reasonable movement of traffic. Drivers cannot be stopped by police for driving less than 6 miles per hour over the posted speed limit 10 miles per hour if the speed limit is less than 55 miles per hour and non-radar timing devices are used, as use of radar devices is limited to members of the Pennsylvania State Police by Section 3368C2. Puerto Rico The U.S. Territory of Puerto Rico regulates and posts speed limits in miles per hour, although highway signage for distances are in kilometers. Some people are hoping to have the speed limit in autopistas raised to 70 miles per hour, along with 60 miles per hour for trucks. Told autopistas as of 2015, can have speed limits up to 65 miles per hour, while other expressways have speed limits up to 60 miles per hour. The rural default speed limit is 45 miles per hour but may be increased to 55 miles per hour. In residential areas, only multi-lane roads have limits up to 35 miles per hour. Other roads are restricted to a maximum speed of 25 miles per hour. Only rural school zones have the higher 25 miles per hour limit. Speed limits for heavy motor vehicles, such as school buses, are always 10 miles per hour lower than that allowed for lighter vehicles, except in urban school zones where the limit is 20 miles per hour. Vehicles carrying hazardous materials are limited to 30 miles per hour in rural areas and 20 miles per hour in urban ones. Topic. Rhode Island 
Along two-lane roadways, the default speed limit is 50 miles per hour during the daytime outside a business or residential district. Daytime means a half hour before sunset and a half hour after sunrise. At nighttime and also uncommon on the East Coast, the default speed limit is 45 miles per hour outside a business or residential district. Through the CBD and residential district, the default speed limit is 25 miles per hour. Through school zones within 300 feet, the default speed limit is 20 miles per hour. Local governments are barred from raising the default speed limits during the day and at night. Divided highways such as rural interstates are generally posted at 65 miles per hour but 55 miles per hour closer to Providence. Divided arterials and expressways are posted no higher than 55 miles per hour. This includes US 1 south of RE 4 to Westerly. A speed limit of 65 miles per hour may be allowed on rural interstates based on engineering studies. Currently, however, the only interstates raised to 65 are Interstate 95 from exits 1 to 9 and Interstate 295. Topic. South Carolina Interstate speed limits in South Carolina are posted at 70 miles per hour. Interstates passing through urban areas are dropped to 60 miles per hour. The urban area assignment of 60 miles per hour usually includes the metropolitan area and the actual inner city area. The three exceptions to the rule are I-385 in Greenville, the SC-31 freeway around Myrtle Beach and I-95 around Florence. I-385 has a 55 miles per hour speed limit at its terminus within the Greenville area. SC-31 is posted at 65 miles per hour even though it is in the greater Myrtle Beach area. SC-31 was originally posted at 60 miles per hour when it was built in 2004. I-95 even as a six-lane semi-urban built freeway, maintains a 70 miles per hour speed limit through the Florence area as of June 2013, from just south of exit 160 to just south of exit 164, the speed limit has been reduced to 60 miles per hour, a textbook speed trap. It is six lanes from SC-327 to I-20. Four-lane arterials by default are posted at 60 miles per hour. Four-lane bypasses at 60 miles per hour can be found in Marion and Sumter, but others remain at 55 miles per hour. It is not uncommon that 55 miles per hour can be expected in more built-up areas prior to municipalities and or if the engineering on the highway is below standards. However, U.S. Route 123 has a divided segment where the speed limit is 65 miles per hour. Two-lane roads are 55 miles per hour by default. However, a handful of counties maintained as either state secondary roads or county roads are posted at 45 miles per hour. Central business districts (CBDs) are posted at 30 miles per hour. Unlike North Carolina with their default downtown speed limit of 20 miles per hour, they are rare to find in South Carolina in downtown areas. A recent trend is occurring with CBD speed limits that they are being signed at 25 miles per hour in random municipalities around the state. Speed limit drops generally are done in 10 miles per hour increments but 20 miles per hour are not uncommon. Improvements in the mid-2000s were done by SCDOT to warn motorists ahead of time for speed drops on various roadways. However, there are still some roadways that have not received that treatment. However, there are a couple roadways that get 25 miles per hour to 30 miles per hour drops as well. The speed limit drops from 55 miles per hour to 25 miles per hour at a traffic circle with US 378 and SC 391 in eastern Saluda County. 
On US 52 northbound approaching King Street, the speed limit drops from 60 miles per hour to 35 miles per hour. Topic: South Dakota Shortly after the December 1995 repeal of the 65 55 of a mile per hour national maximum speed law, South Dakota raised its general rural speed limits to 75 miles per hour on freeways and 65 miles per hour on other roads along with 70 on a few four-lane divided highways. Almost a decade after posting the 75 miles per hour limit, average speeds on South Dakotan rural freeways remain at or below the speed limit. In the urban areas of Sioux Falls and Rapid City, a 65 miles per hour speed limit is posted on Interstates 90 and 29. In March 2015, SD State Legislature has passed the bill to raise the speed limit on Interstate 29 and Interstate 90 to 80 miles per hour. It was signed into law and took effect in April 2015. While the 80 mph speed limit was initially signed on all rural freeways in the state, the Interstate 90 stretch from Rapid City to the Wyoming border returned to 75 miles per hour due to safety concerns. Topic: <laughs> Tennessee. Tennessee generally posts its rural interstates at 70 miles per hour. These include all of the state's two-digit interstates except Interstate 55 and Interstate 26. The only auxiliary interstates in Tennessee with a 70 mph speed limit are Interstate 155 and Interstate 840. 70 miles per hour speed limits are allowed on all other controlled access highways, and are found on controlled access portions of US 51 and SR 22, 111, 386, and 396. In 70 miles per hour zones, the default minimum speed limit is 55. Urban interstates are generally posted at 55 to 65 miles per hour. However, portions of interstates 24, 40, and 65 and SR 386 in Davidson County, as well as I-24 in Clarksville, are posted at 70 miles per hour. Four-lane divided highways are posted as high as 65 miles per hour, but are sometimes 55 miles per hour. These are often hotbeds for speed camera enforcement leading into a municipality. 55 miles per hour speed limits are allowed on two-lane state-maintained roads, but some contain 45 and 50 miles per hour limits, even in rural areas, primarily as a result of local policies. In East Tennessee, most mountain roads leading to North Carolina are poorly posted at 45 miles per hour. Furthermore, two-lane roads such as US 321 and SR 91 have the same mountain and road width characteristics when leaving Tennessee into North Carolina or Virginia at 55 miles per hour. Inside a municipality, speed limit assignments are often a mystery on state-maintained roads. This could range from 15 to 55 miles per hour depending on the type of roadway. This is because the state of Tennessee grants strong home rule powers to municipalities and Dillon's rule for unincorporated areas in the county for speed limit assignments on non-controlled access state maintained roads, requiring that they fall within established constraints. Unlike other states, this weakens TennDOT's ability to sign predictable speed limits in a reasonable and prudent manner. Also, Tennessee has a high percentage of roadways maintained by the counties. In the 2000s, all of the major cities in Tennessee except for Nashville and Clarksville petitioned TDOT to enact environmental speed limits in their respective counties after failing to meet EPA air quality standards, reducing speed limits from 70 miles per hour to 65 miles per hour and 55 miles per hour for trucks. Knox County Knoxville also petitioned the state to enact these speed limits in all of the neighboring counties of the Knoxville metropolitan area, as well as Jefferson County. 
These moves were controversial, as people believed the actual purpose was to increase revenue from speeding tickets, and the Tennessee Highway Patrol (THP) reportedly started enforcing these as 70 miles per hour zones in the Knoxville area after multiple truckers successfully won court cases and had their tickets dismissed. In 2018, these speed limits in the Knoxville area were increased back to 70. In Nashville, speed limits for freeways are posted at 55 miles per hour at the center of the city, and 65 and 70 miles per hour beyond, with no separate restrictions for trucks. Prior to 1974, the maximum speed limit on Tennessee's interstate highways was 75 miles per hour day or night for cars and 65 miles per hour day or night for trucks. Other rural highways had a maximum speed limit of 65 miles per hour day and 55 miles per hour night for cars and 50 miles per hour day or night for trucks. Many of these other class roadways also had separate day and night speed limits as well. Topic: Texas Texas is the only state that does not prescribe a different speed limit for each road type in its state or federal highway system. Texas law generally prescribes a statutory speed limit of 70 miles per hour, 113 kilometers per hour, for any rural road that is numbered by the state or federal government, United States numbered highways and interstate highways, whether two-lane, four-lane, freeway, or otherwise. 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour for roads outside an urban district that are not federal or state highways and 30 miles per hour, 48 kilometers per hour for streets in an urban district. The law allows raising or lowering the statutory limit only if an engineering and traffic investigation indicates that a different limit is appropriate. Texas allows a speed limit of up to 75 miles per hour, 121 kilometers per hour, to be posted on federal or state highways, city-maintained roads, and toll roads, and up to 70 miles per hour, 113 kilometers per hour, on county roads. Through a separate provision, speed limits up to 80 or 85 miles per hour can be established on certain highways. Topic. Truck speed limits Texas once had separate, system-wide truck speed limits, but they were repealed in 1999 and 2011. The truck speed limit used to be 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour, day, 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour, night when the regular limit was higher. This speed limit did not apply to buses or to trucks transporting United States Postal Service mail. Truck speed limits disappeared when all speed limits were capped at 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour in 1974. They reappeared with the introduction of 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour limits in 1987. Effective September 1, 1999, Texas repealed truck speed limits on all roads except farm to market and ranch to market roads. In 2001, a bill allowing 75 miles per hour speed limit on roads in certain counties excluded trucks, introducing a 70 miles per hour truck speed limit on roads with a higher limit. A bill in 2005 allowing 80 miles per hour speed limits still excluded trucks. However, truck speed limits were fully repealed in 2011. Topic: Night speed limits. Before September 1, 2011, Texas had a statutory 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour night speed limit on all roads with a higher daytime limit. In 2011, the Texas legislature banned night speed limits effective September 1, 2011. However as of June 2013, night speed limits 55 were retained on some county roads where the speed limit is 60 miles per hour in Scurry County, just outside of Snyder, Texas. Topic. 
Topic: <inaudible> Environmental speed limits. Texas is the first state to lower speed limits for air quality reasons, although the lowered limits may not meaningfully improve air quality. In roughly a 50-mile radius of the Houston, Galveston and Dallas Fort Worth regions, the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality convinced the Texas Department of Transportation to reduce the speed limit on all roads with 70 miles per hour, 113 kilometers per hour, or 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour, speed limits by 5 miles per hour. This was instituted as part of a plan to reduce smog forming emissions in areas out of compliance with the Federal Clean Air Act. Initial studies found that lower speed limits could provide roughly 1.5% of the emissions reductions required for Clean Air Act compliance. However, follow up studies found that the actual reduction is far less. The emissions modeling software initially used, Mobile 5A, overestimated the emissions contribution of speed limit reductions. Rerunning the models with the next generation software, Mobile 6, produced dramatically lower emissions reductions. Speed checks in the Dallas area performed one year after implementation of speed limit reductions show that actual speed reductions are only about 1.6 miles per hour, a fraction of the anticipated 10% 5.5 miles per hour speed reduction. With both of these facts combined, it is possible that the speed limit reductions only provide a thousandth of the total emissions reductions necessary for Clean Air Act compliance. In mid 2002, all speed limits in the Houston Galveston area were capped at 55 miles per hour 89 kilometers per hour facing immense opposition poor compliance and the finding that lowered speed limits produced only a fraction of the originally estimated emissions reductions the TCEQ relented and reverted to the 5 miles per hour reduction scheme due to its enormous unpopularity the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality examined alternatives to the 55 miles per hour speed cap Analysis suggested that the vast majority of emissions reductions were from reduced heavy truck emissions. A proposed alternative was to restore passenger vehicle limits but retain a 55 miles per hour truck speed limit. Concerns about safety problems and enforceability of such a large differential up to 15 miles per hour on many roads scuttled that proposal, and a compromise plan, described above, was enacted that retained uniform, but still reduced, speed limits. In 2003, the Texas legislature prospectively banned environmental speed limits, effective September 1, 2003. The wording of the bill allows environmental speed limits already in place to remain, but no new miles of roadway may be subjected to environmental speed limits. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Elimination of Dallas-Fort Worth region environmental speed limits. In 2009, the North Texas Tollway Authority raised the speed limit by 10 miles per hour on two tollways. Several miles of these tollways had 60 miles per hour environmental speed limits. These new 70 miles per hour limits exceeded what is allowable under the environmental speed limit regime. NTTA was allowed to raise the speed limits by offsetting the higher limits theoretical emissions increases with other transportation related emissions reduction measures, including implementation of all electronic tolling, which eliminated the need for some vehicles to stop at a toll booth. In 2015, the Texas Department of Transportation canceled all remaining environmental speed limits in the Dallas Fort Worth region. Some speed limits were changed back to those in place before the environmental speed limits were enacted. On some roads the speed limit was not changed. On other roads, including some that never had environmental speed limits, speed limits were raised higher than they were before the environmental speed limits were enacted. Topic: 75 miles per hour limits. 
because Texas law allows 75 miles per hour speed limits on any numbered state highway or city maintained road. It is the only state with 75 miles per hour limits on two lane roads. Speed studies undertaken by TXDOT in response to legislation passed in 2011 took about two years, and the result is that the mileage of highway with a speed limit of 75 miles per hour has increased from about 1,400 to about 19,000. 70 miles per hour speed limits have become rare on Texas interstates. They are retained in stretches of I-10 and I-35 in Bear County, on I-410, on I-35 from San Antonio to Austin, and I-35 west in Denton County Well, most Texas interstates had been posted at 70 miles per hour, notably in East Texas and the Panhandle for 16 years from December 1995, early 1996 to early 2012. Also, there are multiple urban interstates and tollways in Texas where there can be a 75 miles per hour speed limit such as parts of State Highway 45, I-20 in Odessa and Midland. Prior to February 2016, it is now 65 miles per hour on I-20 in Odessa Midland and I-10 in the outer parts of San Antonio. Topic 80 and 85 miles per hour limits Texas statutorily allows 80 miles per hour 130 kilometers per hour speed limits on I-10 and I-20 in certain counties named in the statute each of which has a low population density Additionally the Texas Transportation Commission may set a speed limit up to 85 miles per hour on any part of the state highway system if that part is designed to accommodate travel at that established speed or a higher speed and an engineering and traffic investigation determines the speed is reasonable and safe as of now the roads with an 80 miles per hour limit are I-10 between mile 61.8 in Hudspeth County 31.408667 degrees north 105.972404 degrees west 31.408667 minus 105.972404 and mile 494 in Kerr County 30.183446 degrees north 99.3020 038 degrees west 30.183446 minus 99.302038 I-20 between mile 0 in Reeves County 31.089949 degrees north 104.058509 degrees west 31.089949 minus 104.058509 and mile 89 in Ward County 31.638654 degrees north 102.767521 degrees west 31.638654 minus 102.767521 State Highway 45 South from the northern junction with US 183 to the southern junction with I35 in Travis County Shish 45 North from the northern terminus of its concurrency with Shish 130 to the northern junction with US 183 near the Travis Williamson County border remains at 75 miles per hour. State Highway 130 from I-35 north of Georgetown to the northern terminus of its concurrency with US 183 south of Austin. As of now, the only road with an 85 miles per hour speed limit is a 41 mile portion of Texas State Highway 130 from the northern terminus of its concurrency with US 183, 30.075512 degrees north, 97.692387 
degrees west, 30.075512, minus 97.692387, southward to I-10 near Seguin, 29.613349 degrees north, 97.876287 degrees west, 29.613349, minus 97.876287. Topic: U.S. Virgin Islands. Four motor cars, pickup trucks, or motorcycles. The fastest speed limit in this territory is 55 miles per hour and is found on one road, the divided highway and freeway known as the Melvin H. Evans Highway on the island of Saint Croix. Outside of towns, these vehicles are limited to 35 miles per hour unless posted lower, except on the above-mentioned divided highway and parts of Centerline Road, which is limited to 40 miles per hour. Within towns, these vehicles are limited to 20 miles per hour. Motor trucks and buses are limited to 40 miles per hour on St. Croix's main divided highway, 30 miles per hour on other highways outside of towns, and 15 miles per hour within towns. <laughs> Utah In Utah, there is a minimum speed limit of 45 miles per hour on interstate highways when conditions permit. The maximum speed limit on interstates is normally 70 miles per hour in cities and, on most highways, 80 miles per hour elsewhere. UDOT has now implemented HB 83, raising the speed limit to 80 miles per hour on an additional 289 miles of rural interstate, including I-80 from Nevada to mile marker 99, I-84 from Idaho to I-15, and I-15 between St. George, Utah and Mona, Utah. Although 80 miles per hour is posted on most interstates, some stretches of I-80 and I-84 are posted at 70 miles per hour east of Salt Lake City. I-80 is briefly posted 65 miles per hour, truck speed, 55 between US-40 and Wanship. Speeds between Salt Lake City and Park City on I-80 are variable based on road conditions. Speed limit from Ogden to Spanish Fork on I-15 is 70 miles per hour. From Mona south until Cedar City, excluding curvy sections and mountain passes, the speed limit is 80 miles per hour. Excluding a rural break in Iron and Washington counties, the speed limit on I-15 in the urban areas of Washington, and St. George is 70 miles per hour until the southern border of Arizona. The speed limit on I-15 in Cedar City is 75 miles per hour. The Legacy Parkway, running between North Salt Lake and Farmington, has posted speed limits of 55 miles per hour along its entire length of 10 miles due to environmental concerns at the time of its construction. Topic: 80 miles per hour speed limit. On April 3, 2013, Utah Department of Transportation spokesman John Gleason said, We'd only do it in a situation that would make sense, flat, straight roadways. The Utah Department of Transportation is looking at expanding zones where it can increase the speed limit from 75 to 80 miles per hour. The Utah State Legislature recently approved a bill allowing for a series of zones to become permanent, as well as expanding them in other places around the state. UDOT began a study on Monday April 1, 2013, to place more zones on rural parts of I-15, I-80 and I-84. The areas under consideration, UDOT spokesman said, are on I-80 from Grantsville exit 99 to Wendover, on the Utah-Nevada border, I-84 from Tremonton to the Utah-Idaho border, I-15 from Brigham City North Interchange to the Utah-Idaho border, and I-15 from Santaquin to North Leeds. 
The speed limit on these sections has been increased from 80 miles per hour as of September 17, 2013. On February 13, 2014, UDOT voted to increase the speed limit on I-80 from Salt Lake City across the Bonneville Salt Flats to the Nevada border to 80 miles per hour, 130 kilometers per hour. The change went into effect on July 1, 2014. By July 1, 2014, the state raised the speed limit on all rural interstates in Utah to 80 miles per hour except I-80 from the Wyoming border to Salt Lake City, on I-84 from its junction with I-80 to Ogden and on twisty sections of Interstate 70 from its I-15 junction to the Colorado border. The speed limit on I-70 still varies between 60 miles per hour and 80 miles per hour depending on the topography of the section of freeway. The speed limit on every other highway is 55 miles per hour unless otherwise posted, although several two-lane, undivided roads have 65 miles per hour speed limits, with divided sections of U.S. Route 40 and U.S. Route 189 posted at 65 miles per hour as well. By the end of 2016, UDOT raised speed limits to 80 miles per hour on additional sections of I-15 and I-70. Topic: <inaudible> Vermont. The standard speed limit in Vermont stands at 50 miles per hour. This is applied to rural two-lane roads. On urban freeways, divided at grade expressways, and rural two-lane limited access roads, the speed limit is 55 miles per hour, such as on I-189 and Interstate 89 in Burlington, and U.S. Route 7 and Vermont State Route 279 outside of Bennington. Rural freeways are posted at 65 miles per hour. Furthermore, the speed limit drops from 65 miles per hour on rural highways to 40 miles per hour at the approach to the Canada-US border on Interstates 89 and 91 at Highgate and Derby Line respectively. In school zones, the speed limit can range from 20 miles per hour to 25 miles per hour depending on local authority. The minimum speed is defined at 40 miles per hour only on interstate highways. That includes where the limit is posted at 55 and 65 miles per hour. However, as old signs are being replaced, the 40 minimum is being phased out, keeping only speed limit 65. Topic: <inaudible> Virginia. A Virginia statute provides that the default speed limit shall be 55 miles per hour on interstate highways or other limited access highways with divided roadways, non-limited access highways having four or more lanes, and all state primary highways. The maximum speed limit on all other highways shall be 55 miles per hour if the vehicle is a passenger motor vehicle, bus, pickup or panel truck, or a motorcycle, but 45 miles per hour on such highways if the vehicle is a truck, tractor truck, or combination of vehicles designed to transport property, or as a motor vehicle being used to tow a vehicle designed for self-propulsion, or a house trailer. The same statute contains a number of exceptions, however, allowing higher speed limits, where indicated by lawfully placed signs, erected subsequent to a traffic engineering study and analysis of available and appropriate accident and law enforcement data. This provision allows speed limits of up to 70 miles per hour on interstate highways, multi-lane, divided, limited access highways, and express or high occupancy vehicle lanes if said lanes are physically separated from the regular travel lanes. As of August 2015, Virginia has 3 such barrier separated facilities: high occupancy vehicle lanes on I-64 in the Tidewater area, as well as high occupancy toll express lanes. 
On I-495 and I-95, and hot, HOV lanes on I-395, all in Northern Virginia, the statute also allows 60 mph speed limits on a number of specified non-limited access, multilane, divided highways. The 70 mph provision was added to Section 46.2 to 870 via an amendment effective on July 1, 2010. The previous version of the statute had authorized a 70 mph speed limit only on I-85, the maximum limit permitted elsewhere was 65 miles per hour. Notably, the revised statute does not require a 70 mph speed limit on any road nor make such limit automatic, due to the requirement for traffic and engineering studies. The Virginia Department of Transportation began studying interstate highways with 65 mph speed limits during April 2010 to determine which roads should receive the 70 mph limit and announced that the studies would be conducted in three phases over a period of several months, with the initial phase focusing on 323 miles of highway with no significant levels of crashes and congestion. As of July 1, 2010, VDOT increased the speed limit to 70 miles per hour on a portion of one highway, I-295, south of I-64. On October 20, 2010, Governor Bob McDonnell announced that by the end of 2010, VDOT would post 70 mph speed limits on 680 miles of Virginia interstates located outside of urban areas, representing 61% of Virginia's total 1,119 miles of interstate highways. While the statute allows for speed limits up to 70 miles per hour on urban interstates, as of March 2015, VDOT has declined to post a limit higher than 65 miles per hour on any urban highway other than I-295 in Richmond. The statute also allows 70 mph speed limits on routes other than interstates. Initially VDOT declined to consider any such routes for the higher limit, but in early 2012 VDOT posted a 70 mph limit on a portion of US-29 near Lynchburg. Other Virginia statutes prescribe exceptions to the general rules set forth above. The notable aspect of Virginia's current speed limit laws is that the Department of Transportation has no authority to raise speed limits above the statutory limits unless the General Assembly passes a statute permitting the change. Since the national maximum speed law was repealed in 1995, such statutory exceptions were largely confined to a highway-by-highway -highway basis, as evidenced by the list of 60 MPH exceptions in VA. Code Section 46.2-870. Notably, Virginia's reckless driving statute provides that driving 20 miles per hour over the speed limit, or in excess of 80 miles per hour regardless of the posted speed limit, is grounds for a reckless driving ticket. Thus, in a 70 mph zone traveling 11 miles per hour over the speed limit is prosecutable as a misdemeanor with penalties of up to a $2,500 fine and or 12 months in jail. Virginia law does not prescribe a fixed minimum speed limit, although a statute does authorize the posting of such limits where traffic and engineering studies indicate that they would be appropriate. Virginia is the only state that prohibits the use of radar detectors the District of Columbia Columbia does as well, though it is not a state. Effective July 1, 2018, higher speed limits 60 miles per hour should be coming to the expressway portions of US 301, US 501 between South Boston and the NC Line HB 55 and more sections of US 17. In addition expressway portions of VA routes 3 and 207 are scheduled to see increases to 60 miles per hour SB 466 HB 73 and 684 Topic <laughs> Wake Island The speed limit on Wake Island is 40 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour. Topic: Washington. 
The revised Code of Washington permits speed limits of 75 miles per hour in sections deemed appropriate by an engineering study. As of February 2016, the typical speed limit on a Washington freeway is 70 miles per hour rural, 60 miles per hour urban. The speed limits on these types of freeways only vary in the Tri-Cities, with a truck speed limit no higher than 60 miles per hour. The posted truck speed limit does not apply to any auto stage towing a trailer or trucks less than 10,000 pounds gross weight. Limits were raised to current speeds following the elimination of the federal 55 miles per hour speed limit to more closely reflect the common speeds of traffic at that time. However, Washington state does not have a standard legislated statewide speed limit, leaving it to WSDOT to set individual speed limits for specific segments of road. This has resulted in a wide range of speed limits statewide, with many rural undivided two-lane highways set at 65 miles per hour, while some congested urban divided highways have limits as low as 40 miles per hour. The default speed limit on a rural two-lane highway in Washington is 60, however, the limit on undivided highways varies. In mountainous country like the Cascades and Olympic Mountains, certain twisty roads are limited to 55 miles per hour, whereas some flat, straight highways in eastern Washington have a limit of 65. The speed limit for motorhomes and autos with trailers is 60 like it is for trucks. Roads with traffic lights are limited to 55 miles per hour. The school zone speed limit is 20 miles per hour but is in effect only if children are present. Divided highways in Washington are rare, however, U.S. Route 395 between Pasco and Ritzville is a high speed divided highway with a maximum speed limit of 70 miles per hour. Some areas within Washington state use variable speed limits such as on portions of I-90 between Seattle and Issaquah and over Snoqualmie Pass. On January 23, 2017, the WSDOT considered raising the speed limit on I-90 between Ellensburg and Spokane to 75 miles per hour, but decided to retain the 70 miles per hour limit. West Virginia The speed limit on most rural interstates is 70 miles per hour. Urban interstate speed limits generally vary from 55 miles per hour to 65 miles per hour. Sections of I-64 and I-68 have lower truck speed limits because of steep grades, otherwise, West Virginia does not post separate truck speed limits. The West Virginia Turnpike between Chelyan and Mayan has a 60 miles per hour speed limit because of sharp curves. Speed limits on four-lane divided highways are normally 65 miles per hour, although some stretches within cities are posted as low as 50 miles per hour. Open country highways have a statutory limit of 55 miles per hour, which includes most rural two-lane highways and even includes some one-lane back country roads or any road without a posted speed limit. Cities and towns set their own speed limits, which are usually between 25 and 55 miles per hour. School zones have a statutory speed limit of 20 miles per hour. Speed limits are commonly reduced by 15 miles per hour in work zones. On April 7, 2017, the House of Delegates passed a resolution that asks the Department of Highways to study increasing the speed limit to 75 miles per hour on rural interstates where deemed safe. On January 10, 2018, West Virginia lawmakers made a bill which would increase speed limits on interstates and limited access highways in rural areas to 80 miles per hour. If that is done, West Virginia could become the eighth state to increase its speed limit to 80 miles per hour, and it would be the third eastern state with a speed limit of greater than 70 miles per hour. Wisconsin 
The state of Wisconsin's speed limits are set out in statutory law but may often be modified by the maintaining government entity. In addition to a basic speed rule, Wisconsin law specifies certain occasions where reduced speeds are required including and not limited to the approaches and traverses of rail crossings, winding roads, roads where people are present, and the crests of grades. Although there is no numeric minimum speed limit, state law prohibits the impediment of traffic by unreasonably slow speeds. Vehicles that lack rubber tires filled with compressed air and or carry a slow-moving vehicle orange safety triangle have a hard limit of 20 miles per hour. The state of Wisconsin has four default speed limits. 20 miles per hour limits apply in school zones on major roads during school arrival and dismissal periods only, near parks with children, and in alleys. 10 miles per hour default speed limits apply, unless modified by the managing authority, on service roads within corporate limits. Within municipal boundaries and in areas of dense urban development a 35 miles per hour limit is in effect unless another speed limit is indicated. In some jurisdictions, the 25 miles per hour limit is the default speed limit for residential areas. The entry to such an area is to be marked by speed limit signs. Outside of built-up areas, these include denser business, industrial or residential land uses according to the relevant law, a 55 miles per hour limit is effective in the absence of other indications. While all two-lane roads maintained by WSDOT as of 2015 have a 55 miles per hour maximum, a small portion of Minnesota State Highway 23 that passes through the state south of Superior but is maintained by MNDOT has a 60 miles per hour limit through the state, along with the aforementioned default speed limits. There are other statutory speed limits that more often require signs to be effective. 70 miles per hour limits on freeways and 65 miles per hour limits on expressways require signs to be effective. The default speed limit on these types of roads is 55 miles per hour as they do not directly interact with the built-up environment. In the densest urban districts a statutory 25 miles per hour limit is effective when adequate signage is used, as are 35 miles per hour limits in areas of light development. The same applies to 45 miles per hour limits on highways designated as rustic roads. However, an alleged failure to post such a speed limit sign is not a defense to a prosecution. In the case of such statutory limits. Topic: Wyoming. Wyoming's highest speed limit is 80 miles per hour, found on its interstate highways, and 70 miles per hour on its four-lane divided highways. The speed limit for school zones is 20 miles per hour, 30 miles per hour in urban districts and residential areas, 70 miles per hour for other paved roads, and 55 miles per hour for unpaved roads. On I-80 in Evanston and Cheyenne, I-25 in Cheyenne and Casper, and I-90 in Buffalo, the speed limit is 65 miles per hour. In February 2014, the State Assembly passed a bill that would raise the speed limit from 75 to 80 miles per hour on certain freeway segments that would meet safety standards. The bill passed the Senate on February 25 and raised the speed limit on certain freeway sections to 80 miles per hour on July 1, 2014. However, an attempt to raise the speed limit to 70 on two-lane highways such as Wyoming 120 and US 14 was turned down that same month, but this same provision became law in February 2015. On February 1, 2016, the speed limit on Way 120, two-lane highway from the Chief Joseph Highway to the Montana border increased to 70 miles per hour. Two other two-lane highway sections, WYO 130 from Interstate 80 south to Saratoga and US 85 from east of I-25 to Newcastle, increased to 70 miles per hour. Topic: 
Topic See also Driver license compact Non-resident violator compact Solomon curve Traffic violations reciprocity equals equals notes <laughs>